Wait, oh shit, it's using the wrong mic. Okay. Alright, cool. It's using the wrong mic. Wow. Um. Yeah. So. It's been, it's been a tiny bit. It's only been since, like, five days, so that's not bad, but it was like an eternity for me, honestly. Um, uh, I just wanted to play some Isaac, because I feel like it's a it's a good chill kind of game right now, and I just, I didn't really feel like playing Pathologic right now. Uh, I'm fucking, I'm just, I'm definitely like uh tired i'm definitely tired from work uh so far it's been good uh work it's not been bad at all it's uh it's been pretty chill it's been it's been pretty <laughs> decent um just been like kind of like working out some kinks on like some minor things for the job. It's just been like very, very minor related things. So like, like, oh, you need to be saying like something like this or something. It's very like on the like script. You have like, a, it's like a performance almost for every, you know, everything, you know, it's just like, okay, you gotta say this. And I also have to say this. It's like, I have to do this. For every customer that comes through so it's like kind of like man and then also like i have to do some other things as well just kind of like eh, it's not bad it's definitely like i don't know there's some things where it's just like when i was working at other jobs i was just like yeah this is like i didn't have to do that much shit you know uh so, you know, Halloween is, you know, October, fall is coming around the corner, and it f feels like it's summer still, so that's good. That's a good sign. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it's, uh, fall when it's fucking 80 degrees out. <laughs> And then it snows in January. Alright, so. I kind of... Dude, you know what I want? I'm just going to play this just for fun. Where is it? Where is it? Isaac's Awakening. I'm just going to play this for fun because I really love the sword. Yeah. I'm, mm. It's like uh, I want I want this item so bad, 
and uh I want this item in um in a run so bad. I have yet to get this item in in any run. It's so rare. I don't know why this item is so rare for me. You can only get it in angel rooms. I guess because it's just fucking god tier. Oh my god. It's so good. I don't even know what that did. It just said question mark, question mark, question mark. Now my character's like confused. I can like block projectiles too in this uh in this thing. Definitely didn't need to do that, but you know what? Because I could have just did this. A hermit. Yeah, you can, like, pick these up. So, like, you could find, like, hidden rooms. There we go. <laughs> nice. And, yeah, they force you to go into rooms. just yet because I'm not entirely sure if uh oh I forgot to tweet this out or whatever I forgot to mention that I'm streaming oops uh here it is And then I forgot I need to tweet it out as well. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot. I just kind of started. <laughs> Why does it do that sometimes? Now, I'll do like copy and paste. And it doesn't even actually, it like get, gets rid of it. It's like, what? I copied the link. I pasted it before. Now it just doesn't want to. Maybe I'm hitting X. Control X, maybe. It's causing it to, like, delete my paste. That's annoying. That used to not do that. So I don't, I don't know what the deal is. My friend Yup is playing this game now? Who's Yup? Yuppers. Who? I just know them as a yup, apparently. I, I don't... They- I guess they're a friend of mine. I don't know who they are though. But they're playing this game now. So that's cool. Oh my fuck. <sighs> okay. This weapon's so good. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Alright, hold on. That didn't work. I, th I was hoping that would. Alright, let's see how fast I can do this. Wait. Wait, okay. <sighs> Fuck. 
whatever. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. So what's cool? What's cool about this item? Uh, I I seriously forget the name of it. Um, what's cool about this item? <coughs> oh god! <coughs> Is um, it overrides every type of tier in the game. So like, no matter if you had like brimstone or uh like. I guess like uh like controllable tiers, right? Uh actually I think I forget what happens if you have controllable tiers with this. I think there's actually a synergy. But I forget what it is. You can also bounce enemies, which is fun. Come at me, bitch. Noise. Yeah, so it overrides every, like, tier thing in the game, I think. I might be wrong on that. I'm not sure. I, I should probably read the Ricky. Ricky? The wiki, just in case, but. Pretty sure that's how it works. I should probably just read the thing instead of just guessing. I don't want to... I'm not going to talk about the... Uh, although I want to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about the... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to talk about the um, GTA 6 leaks because... I don't want to... Rockstar was willing to sue... Like, one person who made entirely new source code because they made a game about GTA 3. Even though the, all the source code that they're using is completely originally coded themselves. It's not like stolen code. They, pain, they were painstakingly remaking GTA 3 in GTA 5. And they were, got sued for that. I think that was like one person, so... They're willing to do anything to fucking save their legal team or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to do any devil deals. I'm going to do angel deals. Oh, yes, yeah, right. I got to, uh, I guess they want me to actually do the whole thing where I die and then go into the mirror world. Hold on. My headphones. That's probably going to be the first thing I'm going to maybe get. I'm- I'm tired of dealing with my headphones, and... Um... I just don't want to deal with it anymore. So that's probably the first thing I'm gonna do. As soon as I can. Is, uh, deal with that. And then I won't have to worry about my headphones. Uh, although I'm probably just gonna end up getting... I don't want any wireless headphones. I hate wireless. Uh... Disgusting wireless headphones. Oh, you can actually get item in this. Okay. I can't do anything with that. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna get wired ones because fuck wireless. And, um, I don't... I, I have the HyperX Cloud 2s, I believe. Uh, they're not red. They're gray. I've had them for a while, and... I do have earbuds, but, uh, the problem with the earbuds is, um, the problem with the earbuds is that they're, like, they can be very uncomfortable to wear when you're, 
wearing headphones for an entire day, and I don't have, like, speakers on my computer. So I probably could get speakers, but it wouldn't really help that much. I mean, it, uh, oh, god damn it. Fucking idiot. Well, great. I guess I'm a ghost for, like, a room. Hi. Oh, god. I hate your name. I hate your name, though. Your name is too long. That that would be awful to write as, like... That would be awful to write in terms of just, like, straight up, like, signing into your account. You have to remember how many A's there are if, if it just suddenly makes you... Uh... If it suddenly makes you, like, have to sign in... It's like, oh, uh, even though we said that we sign you in, you know, automatically, we're still gonna make you, uh, hold on, I'm getting this. Uh, we're still gonna make you, you know, of F guessing, oh, yeah. And then they, they, like, and then it's gonna go out of his way, if you don't remember how many A's are in your name, it's gonna go out of its way to be like, oh, are you a robot? And then it starts asking you, like, this question of like, how many, how many, uh, find how many squares are in this image or something. It's gonna ask you, like, math questions. What's two times four? Robot. Even though that's what computers were designed for. That's probably why they don't ask, like, uh, math questions. For security questions. That would be a uh, surprising answer. Like, is actually knowing if that's true. Like, oh, the reason why we don't ask those kinds of questions. Or in this image, shows a person in a wheelchair. Yeah, that that's pretty much it. They're just like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> click, uh click on every image of a blind person. Uh... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna man... There. How would you know which person's blind? It's just a, a guy holding like a thumbs up. He's just like wearing sunglasses. Is this guy blind? Oh God. No. Get out of here. Get out of here. I, I kind of like, to be fair, I kind of find, um, like, names with numbers in them a little nostalgic. Because it's like, nowadays, like, you know, in, in, in the YouTube era, back before Google took over, and forced you to use, like, uh, Google, uh, what was it, Google Plus? You, you used to basically just, your, your username was unique to you. Nobody could have a similar username. So everybody had their usernames, and it was just like, you know, like, Boogie2988, uh, Germa985, or stuff like that. I don't know what the reason why Germa985 was, I think it was just because of that reason alone, was like, Germa was taken or something, and so they were just like, okay, I'm just gonna do Germa985. I think, um, PewDiePie used to have an account where his original account was PewDie. And then he forgot the password, and because you can't make similar accounts, he just remade PewDiePie. He just did PewDiePie instead. And that's how he got his username. So, it's like, nowadays, if you ever have, like, numbers in your username, it's either you don't care, or it's just like, you're, you're, you have a really old account kind of thing. So, like, uh, yeah, like, uh, for Xbox... I think my, my username on there is like Clowny442 or something because Clowny was taken and I didn't read it right. Uh, so like Xbox, Xbox still like, um, yeah, attention span 100. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I have to actually kill this guy first before I can do anything. Yeah, nice job, idiot. I, I have barely fought this guy, so I don't even remember how he fights. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. 
God damn it, get away from me. At least, um, with this challenge, even though I've already completed this challenge, and this is a fun one, this is just for fun. Uh, it is fun. Cool. That was fun. I, I completely forgot how that works, though. So. Uh, what was I talking about? I don't even remember. Something about usernames. That's why I came. Oh, great. Come to me. I have over 600 hours on this game, so I'm a good person to ask. I've also done all the challenges in this game, but... Yeah. Hello? Oh, they just want you to... Okay, well, I'm not doing that. Ow. Well, shit, now I missed my chance to get an angel room. No. Ooh. I have a custom challenge. Needs debug console or the rules. Oh, I've never- I've never done custom challenges. Um... I've always thought of making one, but I don't exactly know how- My original idea of doing like a custom challenge was like, uh... I was thinking of like, you know the one where you need like a red key? And it like opens up the entire f uh, floor here? So like you can go across all the way with red keys if you have enough of them. They've already done this as a as a uh, challenge, though, I'm pretty sure. It's similar enough to where I'm like, well, I guess my version isn't really as important or special now. Uh, let me actually focus for a second. There we go. Um, but my idea was similar to that, where, like, you basically go through all the floors. All the red, like, red room floors. And then you fight uh, a boss rush. So, like, you fight all the bosses... In the game and see if you can beat them. All oh, my homies love bus. Oh, hi, gamer car. It's been a little bit. How are you? It's nice. I. It's cool seeing you guys again sometime. You know, I don't. I don't get to see you guys that often. So, gamer car. Uh, I. I now have a job. If you haven't already heard, which I think you did, but that'll be able. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a new computer. And we can start streaming like, uh, should be more free now. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've been, um, I've been, uh, hopefully I'll maybe make enough, depending on a after I get some other stuff, like, uh, some other, like, purchases that I definitely need to make first out of the way. I want to get a new computer and then, um, I'll probably put that towards like a savings account maybe focus on that at some point, but I really do need to get, like, a car first and foremost. That's, like, important. Um, but, yeah, new computer, and then we can do streams, like, a modded, like, a heavily modded Fallout. Uh, why did I screenshot? Um, heavily modded, like, Fallout 4. That'll be fun. Being able to do that without having the game basically kill itself, or sometimes Stalker an like anomaly gives me that issue with streaming, but you, stalker anomaly mm, The game's cool and all and I like immersion, but I don't know if people really like that I don't know if people are looking for immersion when they go to stalker. I guess like very specific people But yeah, the um debug or the rules. I don't know. I've just I I didn't want to like mod the game I didn't want to mod the game until after I've, like, uh, fully completed the game. Like, I got one, one million percent in the game. I am not, I need to focus. I need to focus. I am not paying attention at all. Oh, God. Alright, hold on. I don't know why it threw it that far. There we go. Yeah, let's, let's not dilly-daddle. Even though I've already done this challenge, I know I've said that before, but just making sure people know that I'm not an idiot and I'm not a loser. So you want to try it? I don't- I've- uh, hold on, I was getting to that. 
Ah, oh, whatever. Fuck it. Um, I've already done this challenge. I've already done everything. See? I'm cool. Look at me. See, look, I'm awesome. I've done every challenge, so... But, um, yeah, as I was saying, I didn't want to, like, mod the game or do anything crazy with it until after I've, hundred like, one million percent completed the game. Uh... Because I just, I don't want, like, to fuck up, like, the achievements, and I, I don't, I've heard that getting mods is fine after you've completed, like, mom or something, and you can do mods, but I don't want to lose that ability or whatever, uh, so. I applied for my first job today, waiting for a response, saving up money for a celebratory trip to Seattle. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, um... I need- I definitely want to get a new computer for streaming purposes. And also, I want to take better care of the, this one. I'm gonna probably put it on- on my desk and not on the bottom part here, so I have more legroom. Uh... And then, there's this, uh, there is some mods that are useful. Item description mod is 1000 billion trillion percent useful for literally everything. It's not cheaty, and then, no, it's not a mod. Okay, well. Oh yeah, daily runs. I forgot about these. I, I still don't do them when I should. Well, I don't, I don't know how to do, like, custom challenges. How do I do this? I don't know anything about, like, debug mode or modding, or, like, the rules or whatever it's called. Debug? How do I get debug? And does that cause the game to, like, remove achievements? Actually, I could probably just ask the internet. They probably know. Um, the Binding of Isaac does debug. Um, does debug... Achievements. Reddit. Here's a Reddit post from one year ago. Is there a new way, any way to enable debug console without disabling achievements on repentance? I know you can enable debug console in the options files, but that disables achievements and unlocks, making it pretty useless. Is there any way to circumvent this? You may, depending on what you want to do, uh... You can activate items on debug, close the game, deactivate the console, open the game again, and achievements are enabled. Does not get you, uh, get you the Steam achievements, however. Not sure why. Don't abuse it too much, though. Any of the achievements is the most fun way, though. I tried doing a fresh save. And what's, what's the rules? It looks like, well, people are saying here that it disables, like, debug disables achievements. So... I don't want to get achievements by debug console. That's not what I wanted to read. Debug console is accessible. Repentance. It is an extremely use useful way to verify a particular game mechanic. Explore, seed, test, launch options, or test various things about a game. Does disable achievements pre-mom? Or if you're not a mod develop, or if you are a mod developer, you can use it to quickly test various things in your mods. It is inaccessible on console editions. Yep. Debug console is only accessible if one or more mods are enabled. So, the debug console is only... Is this, is this true? Added in Afterbirth Plus and then removed in Repentance. So, never mind. That's not true. The debug console is only accessible by editing the options.any in the con configuration directory. The settings. Enable a uh, debug console option to one. The directory contains the game data and the mods OS appropriate compatibility. 
And then you can pull up the debug console. Uh, okay. So this has all the descriptions of items. Unlisted commands. Delirious bosses. Uh, okay. In repentance, going the non-standard stages will crash the game. Uh, okay, attempting to give yourself items or give item will print a message. What are you trying to do? <laughs> Monster champion types. Okay, champion types. This doesn't help. Okay, uh, well, I don't know what... I don't, I don't know what, uh... How do you even do custom challenges? Custom challenges. Binding of Isaac. Custom challenges are player made challenges that are accessible by pressing tab uh, in the game challenges menu. These challenges can be defined by challenge.xml file placed in the mods content folder. Example of. Okay. So it's a mod? I don't. Okay. I don't- I don't know. I don't- I don't want to do this. <laughs> it's too much work. Whatever. I want to- I want to do... I want to just do this. I don't know. I'm going to try doing, um... Mom, or sorry, yeah. Mother? It's like mother, I think. Mom or mother? Oh my god, a halo flies! Okay, well. Nice. Ah. <laughs> I forgot that champions do that. Whatever. Noise. Sussy. I... I have like... Like 600 hours in this game, okay? Like, this is like easy, bro. Except for when you get surrounded. Come on. There we go. You too. Come here. Yeah, you see that? You see those juking skills? Could a... Could a... a five hour... Could a five hour uh, player do that? No. Because they're not as cool as me. Jiggle physics? What? What do you mean? Get over here. Oh my gosh. What the hell? <laughs> Come on. Did you know that the shooting flies are actually able to be spawned from normal flies if they fly over poop for a certain period of time? Did you know? I should be part of Did You Know Gaming. They should they should have me host an episode. Yeah. I'd be a good host. I'd be like, did you know that Binding of Isaac was inspired by the biblical story of the Binding of Isaac? Where Isaac's father tried to sacrifice him to uh, sacrifice him to God because God said so. And right before he was going to kill his son Isaac for the sake of God, Isaac... <laughs> I, I got an angel came down and said, "What the heck are you doing?" 
And they were like, you're gonna sacrifice a lamb instead. And then they sacrificed a lamb. And that's the story of, of Binding of Isaac. And it's kind of based off of that, only by the intro of the game. The rest of this game is a bunch of fucking weird shit. It's like a po post apocalypse. Actually, did you know that every character in Binding of Isaac is based off of uh, a person from the Bible? Did you know? Did you know that Binding of Isaac, the poop makes a smiley face whenever you destroy it? <laughs> what's what's another weird wacky like? Um. Did you know that the cat Guppy in the game is actually based off of Edmund McMillan's real cat that he had during the development of Super Meat Boy and also during the development early on of... Oh god. I think it was during the develop. Okay, this part I don't know, so I'm just gonna say during the development of Super Meat Boy, and you can actually see Guppy, the cat that Guppy was inspired by in Binding of Isaac. Uh, in one of his early videos on his YouTube channel. Sadly, Guppy has passed away, but he has not been forgotten in The Binding of Isaac as he is the best top possible transformation in the game. Still, to this day, even since the original release of the game back in 2012, Uh, okay. I'm gonna keep going. Did you know that Binding of Isaac is also based off of... Is also based off of a true story of his real-life childhood. Dealing with... <laughs> dealing with parents uh, that were born-again Christians. As well as the other half of his parents being... Not born-again Christians. I don't remember. <laughs> Something like that. Wanna know some cool other gaming facts? By the way, the reason why I stopped is because I'm pretty sure what what's their name just straight up left. Because I didn't know... I, I didn't want to do that bullshit. I really didn't want to do it. I So I pretty much just didn't put any effort into trying to do it. Because I don't... If, you, if they have like a custom... If they have, like, a custom challenge, then they don't need... Like, I don't know why they want me to use the debug mode. Just use, like, a... Just use, like, a, um... Use, like, a, like, a Binding of Isaac Discord server or something for people who are willing to... Test out your custom challenge. Because uh, if there's one thing I would recommend... <laughs> to any kind of custom challenge is like sometimes people think that a challenge involves it needing to be incredibly difficult in nature when in reality it really shouldn't be Binding of Isaac does a great job at doing that except in some cases where the challenge is impossibly difficult it, it's doable obviously like I was able to do them but a lot of them you could end up cheesing if you're lucky enough. Which the game doesn't prohibit you from doing. Almost every challenge, you can actually just straight up bypass the entire challenge if you get a good character using the remote um the remote item in the game. If the if the challenge gives you the ability to get items 
in in the challenge. So if the if they give you that ability, then it's pretty much possible for you to just trade up cheese the entire challenge. Which I've never gotten the deal. I, I didn't really exactly get that. And again, it's also sometimes straight up down to luck. Which is annoying. And some of the challenges are just just fun to be fun. Which is cool. But I definitely wouldn't call them a a challenge. But that's fine. That's that's kind of like the ch a challenge shouldn't necessarily be difficult inherently. A challenge should be kind of like something that you can. It's a different way of playing the same game, but there's a twist to it. There's something that uh, that causes you to have to deal with a situation that you're given, right? I'll show some examples after I die, or I'll probably just go ahead and let's see here. I'm going to try to go off of memory. So in the challenges, uh, what's a really good one to show or to just kind of give an idea? Uh, blue bomber, no, pay to play, no, have a heart, pay to play is really interesting because it completely changes up how the game is played. Uh, every door you go through um, has, you have to pay for it. So like the name pay to play. So basically there's an, the entire design of pay to play is balancing like right on soft locking yourself if you are not good enough. Like if, if you make a mistake, you could somehow soft lock yourself and actually being able to do it. It's pretty fun. Uh, Brains is an interesting one. Pride Day is interesting. Uh, or is it the Guardian? The Guardian is actually a pretty fun one. So the concept of the Guardian is you play as an angel. And you can fly around and stuff. You can do all that stuff. Uh, you also have like a sword. It's not the Isaac sword where you can swing it. It's not that one. It's the other sword where you just poke people and that's your only way of, of doing damage to pe people but you do a lot of damage and the way that you get hit is this little guy that walks around and I think he has a heart connected to him. If that heart gets hit uh, you take damage and that guy just has like a random walking pattern. You have no control over where they're walking so it's kind of like a speed run kind of game where you basically I'll, I'll show you it after we, you know, after I die during this run, uh, I'll show it off because it's actually really neat. Oh god. There's these hearts. But it's just kind of like stuff like that where it's just like, you know, uh, challenges don't necessarily have to be difficult, you know. And it's just a lot of people don't really think about that. They just think... There was a really decent video out there. I didn't fully watch it because it's just kind of like common knowledge. Like, it's just like, if you don't understand it, then you don't understand it, right? Some people are willing to make a 30 minute video explaining to, to people uh, that professionals aren't people that they should be looking towards for improving a competitive game because they don't think about the new audience, like new players. It's a really decent video. I'd go watch it. Um, it's called like dear dear game developers don't you don't need to listen to or don't listen to professional gamers because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about usually and they showed a great example of Halo 4 their entire design concept was given to by professional esports players um, and it ended up being a complete flop in terms of gameplay because the only people who understood how to play it were the professional gamers. They were the only people who were like, yeah, I get this. This is, makes complete sense. I love this. This is exactly what I wanted. But they didn't realize that there's also casual players that exist who don't understand any of that. And that's what happened with Halo 5. I'm not Halo 4. Halo 5. Sorry. Halo 4 did a lot of quirky things that are definitely way more interesting and casual in concept 
Uh, so it's actually completely understandable on why they did some of the things. Because it's actually kind of neat if you think about it. I want these. You know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been using my, my item yet. I've just been like fighting the boss without using my item. Yeah. One of the reasons why I'm I'm I kind of love this game like a fuck ton is that I can just talk about random like shit whenever I can think of a topic. I can just think about random shit. You know what I also haven't been doing? Um my mission uh where I was supposed to go kill mother. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that. <laughs> yeah, I that's another issue is like if I'm not focusing. I, that's that's actually a good example of two different things. You're playing Bunk? Is that a challenge on here? Or is that just an entirely different game? I Because I don't- that sounds like a challenge in this game, but it- <laughs> I guess, yeah, that's just- it's a browser game, okay. So let me show you the Guardian. Oh, well, is it, isn't that the video that somebody made, like, a year ago? Where it was like, uh, it was like, I made a- Fake. I made an IO game that was that's fake, and it showed like people with clubs. Hold on. This video. Uh, let me pull it up. That's that's my screen. This video right here. Is is this is this the bunk.io? Because. The reason why the reason why I thought it was is because look the the guys here have like different weapons and stuff. Yeah, I I haven't touched an IO game since Agario and or Slitherio, I guess. That's the website. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna go on it, but I'll I'll look at it. That's skins. Bunk IO. Let me look at images. The fuck? The fuck is this? Looks like a <laughs> Windows XP browser, like game. It reminds me of like, uh, like Transformice. Remember Transformice? Now that's an IO game right here. I played this shit back in the day. Transformize. Nice. I haven't played in a long time though, and it's probably a good thing. I wonder if this game still gets players. Oh, it's on Steam, so Steam's probably a good good look into. Let's check out let's see how Transformice is doing. Transformice. Um, oh wow, has currently 1,200 players. That's actually really good considering how old the game is. Uh, it looks like it, it hasn't been doing numbers. It's pretty much done the same numbers since they released it on Steam. Uh, 2,000 players at most, but it's pretty much stayed around the same amount of people. And sometimes they got like more players than normal, like last year. Uh, in 2021. Bonkyo is my childhood game. Since I was 10? Okay, hold on. Let's let's do some math here then. Uh, Bonkyo is a multiplayer. So this is an IO game, remember that. It's Bonkyo still works. Uh, original Flash-based Bunkyo is no longer possible to use without the use of non-Flash extensions made by third parties as of... Okay. So, what is this? So how do I... So how do I specifically look up the game's history? Because nothing comes up about this. There's a wiki. Someone mentioned playing the game in 2021. Which isn't really helpful. So Bunkio, main page. Let's look at the Bunkio. 
came here the, uh, to correct information or get information or just even come here as a mod or something. We've got something for you. Okay. 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 Community guides. Community letter from Chaz. This doesn't help. All pages. I'm doing everything in my that I possibly can do without even clicking Bunkio. <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing everything in my path to not go to the website. <laughs> oh, nice. There's um there's FallGuys.onl that says Bunkio. Okay, you know what's actually a good example of Bunkio? I could just go to YouTube. And then just find videos of, of Bunkio. Bunkio. Here we go. I hate that name. Okay. Let's go to upload date. From s No. How do I do the opposite of that? This doesn't. Okay. Relevance, I guess. Three years ago, eight months ago, two years ago, three years ago, three years ago, two years ago, five years ago. Five years ago is probably the earliest I can see. So this must have been made... So if it was five years ago, 2017, so 2016, 10 years old. Oh god. What is this website? Oh god. There is no- okay. What's Bonkyo? Multiplayer for up to 8 players. Use the arrow keys, that doesn't help. Use the end game. This has no information! This just tells you that it went from Flash. Adobe Flash reached us in in 2020. So, I guess the game has been out since 2016? That's like my only guess that I can really think of, so like... 2017 is when it, the game got any kind of popularity. So here's the so here's the game. So you have this thing and you're playing as a guardian and there's this guy and he this heart follows the character around. If you hold this down, your character uh, the heart will splat. This is new to the to the challenge. This used to not be in there. And this used to, this challenge used to be a lot harder than you think. So you basically have to speed run the levels by doing this before before anything can attack it, and that's pretty much how you have to do it. You don't get hurt. You cannot get hurt, um, but they can. So you have to be careful. So I'm gonna do this. There you go. Grab this, toothpicks. Oh yeah, I could have just done release date. I believe you can block shots with the character as well. So that's another thing you can do. It was 2016. Look at me being right. Yippee. Wow. Didn't get popular until... Definitely. God damn it. Ah, fucking... Asshole. Ah, that... Yeah, this is still... This is still definitely, like, a hard challenge. I can definitely see that. Because it, it... Well, I wouldn't say it's a hard challenge but it's it's like something that's like oh shit you know so cool also the like pills are kind of weird with it too like it has its like weird properties with pills so you have to watch out for that yeah 2016 so assuming you played Right when it launched, and you were 10 years old. Jesus Christ. <gasps> uh! 
Oh yeah, wait, I forgot, I'm- I can't- I was like having like a panic attack there. Oh, God damn it. Get away from- no, stop it. Come on. <sighs> Fuck you. Okay. Fucking. There. Get out of here. Shay. Shit. <sighs> Come on. No. Fuck off. Okay. I'm not, I'm not doing any more of that challenge at all. <laughs> I'm not doing that. This is a pain in the ass. I'm not doing Jacob and Esau. Fuck that. Bethany can be kind of fun. Forgotten can is actually fun to play with. Played one year after release date. 17. Oh. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Murphy. I'm old. I'm getting old. There's people who were born after I was born. <laughs> you can even tell I'm old. I'm like, I don't want to use mods. How do I do that? How do I add mods to this game? I don't. How do I use the debug mode? <laughs> What's Samson? I'm I'm like trying like I've never played these characters because I've well I've rarely played them because I'm just like fuck this guy fuck Blue Baby he's gonna be a pain in the ass to play as I've accidentally beat the beast as as Blue Baby I got that on stream I don't know if the stream's uploaded to the archive channel though Judas is a pain in the ass I I will say that he he can be a pain in the ass if uh, on the first floor uh, once you get an HP up. It's pretty much easy, like it's, it's a lot easier, but he's definitely a pain in the ass, and my god do I struggle on greedier mode with uh, with him. I just don't have the patience right now to be like, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and constantly restart greedier mode until I can cheese the game uh, into giving me D20, and then basically just getting a battery, and then just farming items and, and shit from doing that for about an hour or two until I basically am overpowered as fuck and then I go through the entire game completely demolishing everything and then I don't have to worry about it anymore but no as of right now I just have to I have to struggle like everyone else instead of cheesing the greedier mode because I hate it so much I don't know who's the I don't know who's the blame for the creation of greedier mode, but that is still one of the worst. I don't know what it happened there. I should have gotten hit once. I didn't even get hit a single time in that instance. I don't even know what happened. I was just like, okay, I'm getting hit. Okay, I'm gonna get hit. Okay, I'm gonna get hit. Okay, I'm not getting hit. It was just my entire brain process. I'm pay to win's cool, but. It's not really a good item to get as your first item on basement one. So I'm just not, I'm just going to deal with it. I tricked you. I tricked you into thinking I was, whatever you call it. I was going to restart the level, but nope. Nope. I'm not going to restart it. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to talk about, honestly. I'm just, I guess, uh, being sick sucks. That's all. I guess that's a good, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I, 
I think Path of Logic is fun, but it seems like none of you guys like it. Which sucks, so like basically I'm bas I'm like doing these like streams where I like play Path of Logic and then like nobody watches. Nobody fucking watches it, so I'm just like kind of playing this really interesting game to like nobody. Which is fine, but it is definitely fun whenever you have somebody else to talk to. I like to keep my room at a steady 30 to 20 degrees. Psycho? No. Oh, wait, 30 to 20 degrees, are we talking about Celsius or Fahrenheit? If we're talking about um, Fahrenheit, oh god. Okay, um... Hold on. Let's do this, let me do some calculations here. So... Oh yeah, Fahrenheit 451, I forgot about that. I remember reading that book. So, 32 degrees, so 30 degrees Fahrenheit is negative 1.111 degrees Celsius. What the fuck? Why is your room at 20 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit? Why isn't it like, like 60 degrees? Or like 64 degrees Fahrenheit? Like, your, your room is basically... Like an ice box. Zero degrees Fahrenheit is negative seven, de 17 degrees Celsius, right? Your room is almost as cold as a fridge. Or sorry, a freezer. Your room is probably as cold as a fridge. Actually, no, a, a fridge would probably be like 10 degrees Fahrenheit. How... Forty degrees Fahrenheit is a fridge. Your room is colder than a fucking fridge. Meaning that you could you could keep food cold in your room. Well actually no, there'd be bacteria still. Never mind. Forty de degrees Fahrenheit or lower for fridges. Yeah, that that's gonna that's gonna be great for for the fucking bill, for the air conditioning bill too. That's gonna be fantastic. You're the kind of person who likes to wear hoodies all year round, and they just find a reason to wear a hoodie. You know what? Fuck your flies. I hate your flies. All my homies hate flies. I'm gonna kill you. Here we go. I'm gonna grab that health. I'm gonna grab this shitty item. And we're in basement one, so we don't have to go through the door yet. Okay. Focus, remind me whenever we get to the end of the boss fight in this floor. Remind me to open up that door. Shorts in the freezing freezing weather. Not the guy who wears hoodies. Oh god. Dude, you know you know you get like talked shit to. Like people talk shit about you behind your back. You know that, right? People fucking hate people like you. <laughs> Cause they're like, why the fuck are you wearing shorts in in winter? Like, do you not care about getting sick? Like, what? Why? It's not like a pa like it's not even like a power move. It's not even cool. You're not you're not like a badass or anything. Like, I have a friend who's willing to eat like very hot peppers because they think it's they're showing off they're not you're they're just putting themselves in pain for no reason you live in alaska that's even worse <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry to hear you live in alaska i'm sorry you're forever associated with the simpsons It doesn't even snow- It doesn't even snow that much, like, during most of the year in Alaska. It's actually very pretty. 
It's just during winter when it's actually in normal weather. Where it's snowing. I'm sorry, my gas. Why are you apologizing about your gas being expensive? You know what? Alaska is that kind of place that you think, like, the entirety of Alaska is just a ski resort. The entire place is a ski resort. Also, I- again, I live in Alaska. I open a window and turn a fan on in my room to get 30 degrees. Again, I live in Alaska. Lots of us wear shorts. You're like the bootleg- <laughs> You're like the bootleg Canada. Ah, oh, Yo! I hope I get- I've always wanted to get technology, like, laser 1 and technology laser 2 at the same time in one run, but I never get it. There's a- I think there's a challenge where you have it, and that's pretty fun. Um. But yeah. Like, the only thing, like... To be fair, the, the best part about, like, a place like Alaska, assuming that it's always cold there... Like, at least a decent, like, you know, like, cool temperature, like, it's fall... Is that you get to wear, like, jackets, and that's pretty much the only time, like, uh... People... You know, like, pe people can really wear, like, shit like that, and it's completely fine. Cause I love- I love jackets. They're the only time where, like, I can really, uh... Express any kind of, like... Like, really express myself, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Is being able to wear it- because most, like, attire... For me, is, like, 90% of the time it's just kind of, like, shorts. Shorts and, like, a pants or, like, jeans and, a p and like, t-shirt or something, right? Wait, did I say shorts and a pant? Eh, whatever. You know what I meant. But... I'm gonna express myself naked in a retirement home. Well, I don't- I don't think you need to go that far. Oh, great, it's you. This guy sucks. Get out of here. Yeah, I just- I like jackets. I'm like sitting here talking about like a heart to heart, you know, just like, hey, here's, here's my interest in this stuff. And then you're like, yeah, dude, I, I want to get naked in a retirement home. I'm just like, whoa. Okay, calm down. Jeez. It's like. <laughs> I want to get fucking naked. <laughs> it's just... It's just like, dude... <laughs> okay? <laughs> no. 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 Open the chest. R word. Okay, listen here, motherfucker. I need one of the keys to progress into the story. <laughs> I can't- I don't want to open them because I want a key so I can open up- uh, Since I haven't had any keys, this is why I'm doing this, so, I, so you understand. Is because we're gonna be going to the next floor in a minute, which will have an item room. So then I can open the item room in case there's a more than likely a chance that- I don't care. Okay, well, fuck you then. Well, whatever. It worked out. But that it, it wouldn't have... It probably couldn't have worked out. Whatever. 90% of the time, that doesn't work. You just got lucky. <laughs> you just got lucky that it happened to work. I, I normally wouldn't take a risk like that unless I had a back door, so... 
Also, this item's pretty good. This is our tier size up, so like our tiers are bigger. If it's the other one, that one kind of sucks because then it lowers your like how many tiers you're shooting consistently and it like fucks with it. It's really bad. I don't know if that's a glitch or if it's like just I don't know. So we're in Dross 1. I don't know what happened to Dross 2, but maybe they updated it or something. I don't know. Well, we're going to fight Mother, which is an annoying boss fight. It's a very obnoxious boss fight. What's some other bullshit about Alaska? I, I've never been there, by the way, and I know nothing about Alaska. I'm just completely assuming. I'm just being an asshole. You know what's annoying about the intensifying tiers? Is that, uh... It completely r lowered the tier size. So, now my tiers aren't that big. So that's annoying. What a shitty item. I really should have taken, uh, took and taken my Mondo friend item. Because at least then it would have been, like, pretty decent. Unless that was just... Maybe they weren't tier size. Maybe it was because I had my item active. That's what it was. My item was activated. This usually doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know why. Oh dude, nice. This is a this is a rare. This is rare. This is very rare. This item. Look at this. I'm a Giga Chad? No, you aren't. The entirety of Alaska listens to Seabat. I'm gonna make that joke and completely ruin it because, it, like, a month from now, people are gonna make that joke and then they're gonna turn it into an insult for you making that joke. They're gonna be like, dude, dude, you're a fucking Redditor, dude. Haha, <laughs> get it, see bad. Haha, <laughs> shitty fucking sex song, haha. <laughs> people are gonna turn it into an insult. Just wait. That's how the internet works. Things that used to be funny will become cringe. Do I- do I dare? No. What the fuck is Seabat? Search up Seabat by like some guy named like something Mohawk. And it's like this really shitty song that like some guy on Reddit, some Redditor, talked like about an embarrassing story where he basically- his favorite song to listen to while fornicating uh is um god damn it my headphones are acting up yeah he like told like this embarrassing story where like he yeah i don't i don't want to elaborate Uh, so yeah, so that song's really bad, um, and for some, it's just the, the hilarity of it is the fact that he found it good, like he liked the song, and to most people, you don't like it because it's just not really that good, and it sounds awful. It sounds like the equivalent of like Drake's current you remember that song from uh i forgot the name of it where it's basically he's using like bed creaking for like the beat of the song and it's like really stupid it's like the equivalent of that you know where it's like really really dude is that is it really <laughs> We're gonna add bed squeaking to the song now, Drake.
Oh, we're in Dross 2 now. Awesome. We can continue onwards. Oh god. My headphones are so fucked. Again, yeah, that's probably gonna be one of my first purchases I definitely need to make. Is my headphones are awful. I don't want to deal with the wire anymore, and it's just I can't I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I can't handle. Oh, uh, wait. Never mind. This character kind of sucks. They don't give you anything. They just like charge your items. I'm like cool. Okay. Let's get that bread. Uh, yeah, but I'm definitely tired from work. Shit sucks sometimes. I mean, it's fine, I guess. It's like... Yeah, work is work. Somebody's gotta do it. No one else is gonna do it, then you gotta do it. And you just gotta deal with it. Luckily, I haven't had a really bad customer yet to deal with. But at least it's like, you know, it's fine. For now. I will say when I first started working at the age of seven, uh, 17 was when I f got my first job. Uh, I was like, I was very inexperienced and immature still, and I'm still kind of, obviously I'm still a little immature, but when I was working, I definitely made a lot of mistakes, so that job kind of gave me like a... I'm not grabbing that rotten heart. That job kind of gave me like a leeway into like, okay, uh, I'm gonna get better at working, and so I I just I just got better and better with like actually doing my job. I don't make mistakes because I'm top G. Then you'll never learn. You gotta make mistakes to learn. Sometimes, yeah, I mean, like, I guess technically, but really, you gotta make sure to. If you don't, if we don't have, if we didn't make mistakes, then I don't think we're human. It's in our nature to make mistakes. If you know everything, then why aren't you, like, a trillionaire? Why, why are you, uh, fucking... Why are you in high school? You should already be in, in... You should already be in college. You know, there's a lot of people out there who've already started... And your age. They've already started their college degree. While they're doing high school. I didn't know about that until a lot... Lot, lot, lot later. Oh, wow! So, you're gonna give me a shitty item? Uh, that isn't gonna benefit me whatsoever down the road. Really? That's interesting. That's really interesting. That's really interesting, Mr. Angel. Or Mrs. Angel. Yeah, you thought... You thought... Oh, nice. Ow. God damn it. Awesome. I mean, I could probably get that. Uh, okay. So we got our item. We need to blow this door up. This door is important to blow up because we can get shit. Uh, continue, continue on to killing mother, which is already a tedious process of going through all these doors. I'm not reading that message. I am not reading that message. Oh my god. Hmph. <laughs> Uh, 
if there's one thing like uh I've definitely like I don't know it's just like uh should I really I, I've mentioned this like before in like a like a stream like a long time ago I don't even know I don't even remember when I mentioned it but I, I was playing like I was playing Visor cleanup detail and uh, I was talking about, I spent like, I think like 30 minutes to like two hours talking about like Boogie2988 because <laughs> I'm like, I'm still, I still kind of watch their content from time to time of course. I'll watch like, depending on what they talk about or do, it's just like, that person has so many controversies to the point where it's like, man, it's crazy how many controversies this one person gets. And it, you really, you really got to think about like how much that could be you one day. Like that could potentially, if you do shit on the internet, that could be you. Where you could be considered like all these, you could be con like blamed for all of these things that are just random, like made up bullshit. But that's because it's just like. You responded to criticism easily, and it's all, all because of that one reason, where because you responded and defended yourself, you're now basically become a target to a bunch of people on the internet. And it's just like, man, it's so easy to become a target to people, and it's just like, it's so easy for these people to basically go out of their way to spend hours of their time to basically trying to ruin your life because you have what they don't. And it's just like, man, oh, this person has a mental illness. Okay, we're going to basically spend years of our time dedicating ourselves to basically documenting this person who has a mental illness and w did not grow up in a good situation. And we're just going to basically use that as a way to be a com bunch of assholes. I mean, to be fair, the person isn't a good person. But my god, it's not entirely their fault for ending up like that. It's entirely their parents' fault for ending up like that. And it still sucks that uh, that that you know person ended up being becoming the way that they are, right? I'm not, I'm talking about Chris Chan, by the way. I know I'm I'm being cryptic about it for some reason, but I'm talking about Chris Chan. Chris Chan fucking grew up in like the worst possible circumstance ever. And ended up becoming this cultural phenomenon on the internet. And it, it ended up leading to an even bigger, like, even bigger events to occur within, like, just the, the scene of people being able to kind of, like, I guess I would say harass people who are easily, easily manipulated into basically getting content out of them that is entertaining to these people who who believe that they are in the right on what they do in general and these in a lot of these i guess you could say victims are people who just kind of continue to allow this kind of behavior to occur have you been in the what? I don't I don't know what that is. Also deep pockets is a cool item. Yeah. We can make more money. Um Yeah, I don't I don't know what that is. Have you been in them? Is this like a is this like a the hills have eyes reference or something? You know what's funny is that I don't even need to fight this guy. I've- if it's somewhere in like, 
Alaska. I, I've never been there because I've never been to Alaska ever in my life. Okay. So that's Ash Pit 1. Okay. Yeah, it's just like, so... Boogie was, if you don't know about Boogie298's situation, like, his life story is, so a lot of people in the world find obesity as a way to be an asshole. Like, it's an outlet to be an asshole towards somebody else who isn't even anybody they know, but because they're overweight, they have the right... They feel like they have the right to be a complete dick to everyone um, who is who is overweight, right? And it's just like, oh, dude, maybe if you weren't so fucking fat, you'd be, you know, you'd be attractive or some bullshit like that where they're trying to guilt you for whatever reason, thinking that apparently being an asshole uh, is apparently a good sign uh, or, or, or a good thing. I don't know why people think that being a complete asshole towards people are, are a good way of motivation. I, I don't think they they know what... I, I, I don't know if they just had, like, coaches in their life that are just complete assholes to them. Because every coach I've ever met have been very nice and very supportive. I've never met a bad coach in my life. So I don't know if just these people had, like, shitty coaches. And so they basically take their their anger out on other people. Um, it really doesn't make sense at all if you think about it. Like all these, like all this, like stupid shit, where it's just like, oh, I'm gonna be an asshole towards this person because they aren't perfectly well groomed, and they aren't, they aren't the the thing that was where everybody was basically treated like shit if they weren't specifically straight, white, or you know, male, fe you know, like this is how females need to be treated, kind of shit, right? So it's like. Jesus Christ, just because it happened in the past, we've kind of, we've kind of evolved as a species from that. Like, we're already way past beyond the point of, like, how we should be in the be in the first place. Like, we, we were, you know, I think, I'm pretty sure, we were apes at one point in our lives. So, like, we didn't even really have sentience, but we were very, you know, fortunate to have a sentient brain that can actually have individual thoughts and feelings and we all have their own language and we're very we're very fortunate to be in this situation which i think a lot of people are not you know they don't understand that but yeah it's just like people are so like single-minded sometimes and so yeah it's just like boogie 2988 YouTube content creator has done stupid things in their life because they you know we're all stupid and we've done stupid things so like they they've been very edgy like j they're they're edgy which used to be completely fine but now a lot of people on the internet the mainstream media so like m the majority of, of internet users now don't understand what the difference between a joke is and what actual serious stuff is and a lot of people use edgy humor as a outlet or like a lot of people use edgy humor as a way to basically use it as kind of like oh look this person is is okay with someone being edgy or something so that means that it's you're allowing these people who are actually believe in that stuff to continue acting the way that they do kind of bullshit right so like they'll, they'll make whatever excuse they can like people who are against it will make any excuse they possibly can so then they fit the agenda of what they're looking for they want to look like the better person in any way possible they want to be like some they want to make some kind of name for themselves in any way they possibly can which usually ends up meaning complaining about very minuscule stuff that doesn't really make any sense when it used to make sense which, you know, I mean, to be fair, I understand it's a different kind of cultural, you know, world we live in. 
where a lot of some things shouldn't be said, some things should be said. But man, it's definitely caused the issue with it is that it's basically caused made it worse. It's made a, a worse situation out of it because you know, if you're new to Twitch chatting, what's the one thing that you see all the time when it comes to Twitch chatting? I'm gonna grab this. Um, I'll, I'll give I'll give that a second. Let me look at the video that you're talking about if you're still here. What what's this video that you're referring to? I'm gonna I'm gonna mute the audio in case it has any kind of like thing that will get me banned. So let me listen to this. I don't get it. Uh, is it- is the joke that he said, like, something gay? Is that what it is? I don't- I'm not a part of TikTok community at all because I find- I find TikTok fucking cancer. Sorry I use that term. That, that's not really- that's very in- and if, you know, that's very offensive to a lot of people, sorry. Yeah, I just, it's just like, um... Like, yeah, that's another thing, is I kinda like, I feel like I have to watch what I say now. It's like, anything that I can say can be completely taken out of context, even if it was innocent in nature. Which has happened to me a lot in my life, it's just like, oh great. Alright, time to get yelled at by somebody who thinks I'm being... Like, I don't know, they think I'm- they have some idea of what I am to or in their head, and they've basically made up their mind, kind of thing. I don't watch what I say. Uh, if they have a problem with it, fuck them. Yeah, uh, that's a great attitude to have. If you can pull it off, I cannot. I don't- I don't have the mental capacity to pull off a I don't care, I don't give a fuck attitude. Because I do care, and I do give a fuck a lot of times. It's just that I like to make certain jokes without thinking, Oh wait, I can't make this joke around a lot of people because they're gonna find it, uh, offensive. And I don't- And with my brain, or like my thinking, it's just like, I want people to like me. So, the fact that I have somebody who doesn't like me because of something that I thought was funny, doesn't mean that that person found it funny either. And it's just like, well great, now I have to deal with the fact that this person doesn't like me anymore because I said something that they don't like. Or I could apologize entirely and just be like, well, sorry about that, and then try to move on, but usually a lot of times these people don't like to move on. Um, I, miss, I limit myself at saying the, the in blank. I'm not going to continue that because I don't know what Twitch is going to be okay with. Um, yeah, it's like... Me and my friends are incredibly edgy, right? Like, we'll say whatever the fuck we want to say with each other. And it's just like, it's really funny to us, right? Because we we get it, you know? Like, we understand each other very well and we understand, hey, this is a joke, we're not being serious kind of shit. To the majority of people outside of our friend group, don't get it as it being a joke. And they find it as an excuse to be, I guess you could say, like, I, I I guess the best word to use would be bigoted. They think that there's there's mal there's a mal malice to it, right? So like they they find they think that 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 it's we're doing it because we believe in what we're saying, even though the majority of time people who you know do those kinds of jokes aren't exactly doing it because they believe in what they're saying it's because it's against what society's norms are right it's a, it's anti it's anti humor i guess is the good term um so with some stuff that, with the stuff that i do like you know twitch streaming i can't act like that because there's a lot of people out there who don't like that 
So I usually keep that kind of stuff to my own, gr like, friend group. That's, that's between us kind of thing. If I do do it, any kind of, like, edgy related stuff, it's clearly, it's a clear joke, and you clearly get that it's a joke. Like, it, it's kind of obvious, unless you're an idiot. Uh, or unless you're, you're wanting to look for being, like, you know, you want to be problematic because you want to be problematic. You want to try to basically be up against something. Like, you want to try to make yourself look look like you're fighting for something. When in reality, you really don't care. You're just pretending to care. I, I don't think that's for most people. They genuinely do care, though. It's just that they care about the wrong stuff because they believe... They believe in pretty crazy ideologies, usually, these people. But... I understand it. You know... People, people love to be, like, I've, I've gotten, I've known a lot of people who have easily gotten offended by some of the smallest stuff, and they will go out and they, they will let you know when they are upset. Like, they are very upset with you, and it's very, it's, I, I guess you could say it's cringy, but it's just, like, people want to be Karens, and... Nowadays, it's like, unless you established a specific thing, right? I've mentioned this before, but the best way to be able to be edgy with whenever you're, you know, like, whenever you are, what, what do you call it? Whenever you're, you're like, trying to be, like, a, I guess comedian is a good term for it. I don't know. Whenever you're, you're working with comedy, I guess would be a better term for it uh the best way to do it in today's society is you have to you have to play with the idea of pretending to be somebody you're not and people understand that you're playing as a character and i've said this before in the pet in past streams so this isn't like a new idea that i'm bringing to the table or anything but it's true um the biggest you know comedians that are out there still you know, like a mainstream we're talking about is, um, you know, Jeff Dunham, right? Gabriel Iglesias is a bad example because he's very PC. He's the most PC, like, comedian you can find, probably, because he's very family oriented. Yeah, he has some funny, wacky jokes, but they're very harmless, you know? He's not, like, going out of his way to, like, go against what the norm is, right? With, you know, Jeff Dunham being probably the last, to be fair, he's probably, probably gonna be the last comedian of, like, the old era. You know, like, old era comedy. I don't know, I don't know, I've never seen Chris Rock, so I don't know what he's like. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what Larry the Cable Guy is like, but I can tell just by, you know, observation that you know he's probably the last of people who are able to get away with what they can say because they have that you know that ability to use puppets as an excuse it's like he's not saying it right so you can't get mad at them get mad at the puppet right so he can get away with saying a lot of offensive stuff because it's just like, hey, it's a puppet. What can you do? Uh, South Park. Hey, they're fake characters. They're not real. All, all of it is fictional. What can, what can you say? It's been here since the beginning of, like, cartoon television. So it's like it gets a pass. Um, Fran uh, Francis, I guess, if you've even watched, you know, that stuff. He's playing a character. It's a fake character. So he can say stuff. The problem with what happened with... Um, with him, right? Uh, the reason why his issue happened was because of like, uh, what was it? Oh god. The reason why he was able to get away with it was because at the time, YouTube's copyright system wasn't as crazy. So... He was able to say, like, you, you know, he was able to cuss and stuff, which is, like, the main character's point, is that he can cuss and act, like, wacky. He wasn't exactly violent, you know? He wasn't really violent. Um, 
but he did cuss, and at the time, when YouTube's copyright system was really bad with, like, demonetization, the biggest issue that he was running into... Oh, I'm dead. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right, we're still alive. Jesus. So, yeah, like, it, it's like the YouTube algorithm really messed up the way that he could create content. Same with McJuggernuggets. I don't know, just the content that they made during 2016 was their peak in terms of making content. They weren't, you know, censoring themselves. They weren't dumbing down content. I don't think McJuggernuggets exactly is, like, I wouldn't say that they're even really exactly dumbing down their content. It's just what they can do without getting in trouble and losing their monetization has really caused them to want to like, well, shit, I'm going to lose my monetization. I'm not, I have to dumb this down. Uh, if I don't, that, that really caused a, a huge issue with most content creators at the time. So like a lot of them couldn't even make the content they were during that period because if you remember, Filthy Frank is another really great example. Filthy Frank is playing as a character. And you see in a lot of these examples where people are talking about Filthy Frank years later. They're always talking about like, you see all these millennials or, oh sorry, Zoomers. I get millennials and Zoomers mixed up because millennials sounds younger than Zoomers. So yeah, a lot of these Zoomers, they're always like, they bring up the one fact and you can tell by these people. Their one fact is always, he's playing a character, so he doesn't actually believe it. And there you go. That's 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 the excuse that people need in, or, in order for them to like a certain person. Is they need, a, they need an excuse of like, this is a person pretending to be like, they're not actually like that. You know, I guess a good example would be, should I really say too mad? Because too mad, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure like, I don't know. Too mad just people understand with him is that he he gets away with it he does against like you know people understand within his community that he's doing as much as he can that he can get away with because he's like oh look i'm being over the top and loud because if you notice like I, I show speed is also the exact same way and a majority of people who watch i show speed have this idea or understanding that he's playing a character the entire time I show speed is a great example of he's playing a character and a lot of people have this assumption that they're playing a character because they'd rather them they'd rather believe that he's not playing a character than him actually you know being the way that he is on purpose in real life which because he's so over the top that it's like there's no way you can take this seriously right i don't know just uh, just some cool little wacky mentions and stuff uh let me read your message now if you're still here you said <clears throat> if someone doesn't find something funny i find funny then there's no reason to continue to hang around them they can't enjoy my jokes and too bad okay negative mindset uh, the reason why, oh, I died, cool. Um, the reason why, the way that, like, I'm still with my friends, right, is that, again, we all get each other. We all understand each other. We've been friends since middle school. One of them, I've been friends since elementary school, right? I've known them my whole life, pretty much. I've known them longer than I've played Roblox in my life. So, we completely get each other. It's hard to be yourself around people you don't know yet. Because you, you have to gauge... This is how a lot of people work. You have to match the energy of other people. You'll see this with um, whenever uh, Too Mad. You know, you'll see him being approached by his fans 
And you'll see that they all try to match his energy all the time in in these con like, you, know, you know like during conventions and stuff. They try to they try to top each other because they're just like, "Oh, look, he's he's the cool kid or something," right? It's like a lot of times it's just like you got to match each other's energy and how they act uh, around each other and you know like the way that they're going to be acting. And a lot of times that usually works out. So like, you know, my friends, they're very, you know, very edgy and they'll say some of like the most heinous things you can think of, right? And I'm not entirely like that anymore. I've not really been like that for a while. I'll still pop in like, you know, an edgy joke every once in a while, right? But it's just like, they still act the way they've been since they've been in high school when we're well, like when we're all together and I'm not I'm not exactly like that I would say I don't really exactly I'd say I wouldn't really laugh at a lot of what they're saying sometimes because it's just like um, they'll bring up like a joke that's been said like 50 million times and it's just like okay well now it's getting kind of old and usually the jokes that they say like our friend groups say are usually jokes derived straight from some random bullshit that I've said so like I'll I'll do like a southern accent, right? Where like I'll basically just I'll be like I'll be like a, a stereotypical southern person that's clearly not like a legitimate person, but it could be considered a stereotypical southern person, right? So <laughs> you can imagine, you can use your imagination of what that was like. Whenever I was around the boys, I'd bring up stupid fake politics and fake political beliefs that are just a bunch of bullshit uh, around them, right? And then whenever I'm around other people, when I was doing the act in public, I actually killed myself. <laughs> I actually placed the bomb. Whenever I, like... I, like, do, like, the... Like when I'm around other people in public, <clears throat> I'm just like, you know, I'm going to don't, I'm going to completely tone it down. I'll still, still do like the Southern accent, but I'll do like the, I did this very specific thing where it's a Southerner who wishes for the old days, pretty much. That's the best way to describe it. So I'll be like, you know, back in my day, you know, we didn't have, we didn't have smartphones. We used to use, we used to use bricks. We used to use cups with string. I tell you what, these kids, they have it, they have it easy nowadays. You know, we used to lift, we used to lift boulders. Kind of bullshit, right? So it's like, it doesn't even make sense. Uh, but to the, you know, to the average listener who is just passing by us at a mall, I'll be like, completely, it'll just be like, oh, what the fuck is he saying? <laughs> he's being, he's being a little wacky boy. So that they, they understand, it's a general understanding of just like, oh, this person's just joking around, obviously. They're probably not even Southern. You can probably tell because he's talking about how rulers used to be made out of wood and now they're made out of plastic. What kind of bullshit is this? I tell you what. It's like, they understand. They know. And then behind the scenes, and you're just like, God damn the fucking, you know, president or some, some bullshit like that right i'm not gonna go into the details it's just kind of like pick pick and choose when to say the shit that you say because it's just like technically you know technically you could get arrested for it <laughs> or you could get fined for it for disturbing the public which is something that you don't want to do that they do constantly it's just that a lot of people don't want to go they're they're more frustrated that we're basically ruining their time that they're having with their friends they, they'll say like some really really fucked up shit like we were at like a restaurant and we're like sitting in like an applebee's or something and then they're like sitting here talking about like some like really like you know like I will say, like, sex is, like, a taboo subject for majority of people. On the internet, it's a lot less taboo, but it still is. So, like, if you're using that as, like, a joke... Well, first of all, you need to be funnier. But, second of all... 
it's just like people can get very uncomfortable with that kind of stuff because they're like they're trying to eat right and a lot of people like me can lose their appetite easily from that kind of shit and the people who are sitting next to us might like my friends were talking about like like really like just really like immature what's the word i'm looking for just like barbaric kind of like topics right so like it's just like if i could remember i would tell you but i i think i remember it but i don't want to go into detail because it's just kind of fucking weird and there was like the two girls they were not interested at all they stayed quiet the entire time because they were very uncomfortable but they didn't go out of their way to like tell us to stop because they didn't have they didn't have you know, they, they didn't have the, 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 I guess, that's what I'm looking for. <clears throat> they weren't caring enough, I guess is the best way to describe it, to basically go out of their way to tell us to, you know, to make it a big scene. Because they don't want to make a big scene to begin with. Because they know that that's also bad, and it looks bad on them. So it's like, we're ba they're basically being a bunch of, like, immature children around these other people who are just trying to enjoy themselves and it's just like you're ruining their day like come on now like you know just like how like someone crashing their car in the highway causes a huge slowdown and now let now you're frustrated because you're gonna be late for work right and you're gonna get in trouble for it if your managers suck right so now now it's rubbing off on them it, it looks bad on them and it's just like you gotta pick and choose when it's okay to be the way that you are in public, sadly. You know, like, to us, it's just like, you know, oh, hoo-hoo, you know, but, like, other people, it's just not really like that, and it's just, like, you gotta pick and choose. Like, I don't think it's really a good idea to be talking about your time at a strip club that you had, like, two weeks ago at, like, a pizza place where people were trying to talk and eat. Check this out. If they if he goes over this for long enough, let's see if it works. Oh wait, it won't work on the red ones, it works on the normal ones. But it's just like you know, I try I try to be fun. You know, you can you can be funny without being completely over the top. Like that shit can get old fast once because the people who like that kind of you know, like that kind of content are the same people who are immediately going to stop watching you once they get old enough because they're going to get bored of their content. You know, too mad. I don't even fucking watch him anymore. And I used to watch him when he was like at his peak, you know, like right before he lost all of his weight that he had, you know, doesn't have anymore. Right, you know, before he, I guess, did a porn video with Belle Delphine. Um... Uh, it's just like I don't watch him anymore and it's not because I think his content's bad it's just I've kind of really like grown out of it I've gotten bored of it it's just like the same thing where it's just like look he's he's gonna be f making a huge ass out of himself in public it's just like that kind of gets old after a while you gotta you gotta like evolve as a content creator you can't just like go around saying a bunch of bullshit to random public people all the time because it does it does get kind of boring after a while content wise but i guess whenever your your audience is children it's just like they're they're constantly going to be coming in and out it's just like i guess it doesn't matter but when you want to keep a consistent audience with people that you know want to keep watching you it's definitely harder to do that Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna grab this. <clears throat> I don't remember if this is a item that you have to use, or if it's just a passive item. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure this is a... I don't even remember what I'm doing. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, um... So it's like, yeah, you know, it's just like, eh. 
creating being funny for me really is just a for me whenever i can land like a joke or something it has to be within like you know like let's say you talking about alaska right that was me playing off of like what you were saying i don't even know if you're still here because the viewer counter doesn't even update it still says that one viewer is watching even on i don't know if that's even true i don't they need to fix that still I don't even know if there's anybody watching or not. It's still probably gonna be like the creepiest thing about Twitch is... You don't even know if someone's watching you, or if it's just- it, You actually have zero viewers, it just for some reason says one viewer. Even though that's not true. I always wonder that. I always wonder if there's one person out there in the world that just for some reason watches my content at all times. No matter what hour it is, they're just there. Watching. <clears throat> but it's just like... I've definitely had to come to a realization of that because... It's like... The shit that I said... That I've said before... It's just like... Man, this is gonna come back to haunt me, isn't it? And, uh, that sucks. When that when that happens, I won't be able to mitigate it, honestly. I I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to deal with it. Uh So, I don't know. We'll see. I I really do hate controversies and I and I know like most people most people, they're just like, uh, they they want to be liked by other people, right? That's just that's just human nature. You want to be you want to be accepted within the community that you're in. Um, and for a lot of people, you'll get that, and then you'll get a lot of people who don't like you for whatever reason, and then they just straight up will do everything in their power to really, really not like you. They want to find any way, any reason to not like you. For whatever reason. Like, you could, like, for me in particular, like, I could not like somebody because too many people watch them or something, right? Like, that can be an excuse. But people don't want to actually admit that. So they'll go out of their way to find other reasons to not like a person. And they, some people will just straight up a lot of people will straight up go out of their way to find any reason, any actual valid reason to not like a person because they don't want to admit that it's because the person is popular. That's just how a lot of people are. And there are valid reasons. So you have you can have valid reasons to dislike a person, you know, like but man, it it, it really sucks being a content creator if people are willing to hold a, Hold things that you've said in the past against you. That you said, let's say like 15 years ago, right? Oh, dude, you said this shit like 15 years ago. You were five years old. How dare you, right? Like, it's just like, people are going to hold that against you. It's just like, dude, I was like, you know, like, you know, every year that you age, you actually grow. You, you know that once you turn like 21 it's only your body that stops aging, right? You know, it, your brain can still, like, you can still go through changes in your, in your ideology, your personality. That's the whole point of politics, is to, that's the whole point of it, is, like, people are trying to convince each other to believe in their politics, or, I guess, to an extent, I, I'm not even gonna really, I don't know, this would be a controversial statement, but, to an extent, I would say maybe religion would be, in a similar sense where like you know like mormons they want you to they want you to believe in what they're believing in they want you to in their in their way they're like hey i want to save this person and my religion will save them right you want to help people and uh, i will say like you know religion can be really good it can it can be bad in some aspects but that's with everything right it's just like 
That's just that's just how it is in our world. It's just like everything can be can lead to bad things, but so it can also lead to good things as well. And it's just like yeah. I can see, you know, it's like one of those things where it's like, yeah, I can see that kind of thing. I, and I hope people do kind of see that. I don't know what, I don't even remember what I'm talking about anymore. Because I was like too focused on the boss fight. But, it's just like, people want, and a lot of times, that's another thing that you'll run into too. It's just like, not only will people hold you accountable in this, in this, you know, internet era, for if you if you have any kind of relevance people will go out of their way to f hold you accountable for stuff and if you're if you're kind of like a nobody a lot of times people will go out of their way to make you an uh not a nobody just so they can f get more people to dislike you right that's what locales are for it's so more people are made aware of your existence so then more people are gonna basically be in you know, like, find reasons to dislike you, and more people will dislike you, and then more people will... It just becomes, like, a huge clusterfuck of, sh of shit, right? So it's just, like... It's just... It's a huge issue that with Kiwi Farms now gone, I've been following, like, you know, like, I follow character pieces like, you know, like, Gypsy Crusader. I'm, like, I'm fascinated by these people just in general just like locales I, I don't follow every locale it's only really certain like some ones right like I, for a little bit i was following uh i think for a little bit i was kind of following dsp and uh for a little bit i was also following uh what was it i was following um uh wings of redemption who is also constantly runs into controversies they they haven't had one in a little bit because they're they're working on it right they're they're doing they've learned from the shit that they've said right in some aspects they, they've said some really really stupid shit so it's just like it's kind of like like what can you do in those situations because nobody wants to be that person everybody wants to be everybody wants to not be the person who is being targeted, right? So we'll latch on to a community of people who are against this person because we want to be within that community. We don't want to be that person. We don't want to be the outcast. So it's like, wow, okay, I'm gonna basically be an asshole towards this person so I can fit in. You're not you're saying that subconsciously. And then you find reasons to dislike this person because you want to dislike this person uh, and then you go out of your way to harass this person right and then you go out of your way to like to like I don't know I don't know wings of redemption right but I don't know how long we should be holding accountable for this person who is overweight for because they canceled out on going to a uh, oh this person this person won't lose weight they took a they took gastric bypass and now they're they're gaining weight again and they don't eat healthy i'm going to dislike this person now because they're f fucking fat right it's just like that kind of shit also i i probably shouldn't be saying that because people twitch could take that out of context as me being a bully i don't condone that at all i don't condone those kinds of behaviors because it is literally cyberbullying, basically. But it's just, like, shit like that, right? Where it's like... Man... It, like, that's another thing. I have to be, fucking be careful. I'm not, like... I don't have any kind of social influence on the internet, so if my account gets banned forever, then that's it, right? That sucks. So I have to be careful when I say shit like that. Obviously, it shouldn't be a huge issue because I I don't think I'm going to get mass flagged today. And I'll, to be fair, I might just straight up take off this just for that one comment because that could be completely just, you know, that could be that could be taken out of context by the bots or something. I'm probably just going to download this stream and then upload it to the VOD channel and then just 
delete it from Twitch, so then I don't get banned. And then if it gets... God damn it. Whatever. If it gets, you know, banned, you know, if it gets deleted or demonetized or whatever the fuck on YouTube, it's less likely to happen on there. Uh, I gotta really watch myself, though. I think I should, I should be fine, because I don't... I, I probably could have quoted that better, but anything can be taken out of context. But, yeah, it's just like... These people... It's just like, oh, this person's fat. Okay, I'm gonna be a mean to them, right? And it's just like, okay, I here's my reason to not like this person, because they're overweight, right? It's just... Is that really a good excuse? Like someone's weight it's just like do you really actually care because you don't actually care at all you pretend to care as an excuse to be an asshole and to you know judge somebody and it's just like i really wish those kind of people to get like bad karma towards them because it's just like come on dude you don't know what they're going through if you were in that situation you'd probably have a hard time you don't you don't know what that person grew up like, what their environment was like. You don't know if they're doing it because they like it. You don't know what their reasoning is. And it's just like, is it really that big of a deal? Like, it's not, like, affecting you in any possible way. That person isn't in your life harassing you, being an asshole towards you, right? Like, they're, they're not affecting you negatively, right? They're just overweight. Oh, okay. Oh, you're being... You're trying to be nice? How is that nice? How is being- I've had- I've mentioned this before whenever I talked about Boogie, but this is true. It's just like, you're, you're being obsessed over the wrong things that really don't matter. Like, it's just like, you want to be upset about something because you have nothing else better to do, or is your, just, is your life really that boring that you need some kind of excitement in it that you, you need to judge other people? Is it really that big of a deal? It's just like people want to find any kind of excuse, right? They want to they want to be in the right. People want to be right. Twitter is just an entire cesspool of that. Of a bunch of people who want to be right and they want to be surrounded by other people who believe in what they want to believe in. That's why Kiwi Farms, you know, became kind of like a honeypot for that kind of behavior. Uh, hopefully I'm using that turn correctly. Um, but it's just like, you know, like... It's kind of became like... Hugely just like, oh look, it's basically just like a... It's basically just like a shittier... I don't know, it's just a way for people to be... Mean. And I understand, like, people want the excuse, right? The excuse is, it's freedom of speech, right? Oh look, it gives me my freedom of speech, that's why I like it. I mean... If we really had a full freedom of speech, like, like, if we did have freedom of speech, Kiwi Farms is a perfect example of what happens when we give people complete freedom of speech, right? Um, 2B2T is, a, is an example of what we- of what happens when we give people the complete freedom to do whatever they want, right? To be 2 t is a beautiful simulation of what an anarchy could be like, right? And a lot of people think that, like, no laws is better. Without laws, uh, your house would be broken into by now. You wouldn't be able to live in the house that you're living in. Uh, you'd probably be homeless. Uh, you'd have to- we'd go back to- to a caveman era. Uh, of society where to some people that would be fine some people wouldn't um there would definitely with the people that we have now there's definitely no way we'd have like they'd have no fucking knowledge of how to fucking do anything like w the people who lived in those kind of you know worlds at the time is because they grew up already within that kind of environment Right? 
So it's like, oh, I'm a builder, I'm a gatherer, right? Well, that's what they grew up with when they started. So they grew up gaining the knowledge from a kid, knowing how to survive. <laughs> Boy Scouts kind of give that, kind of give that idea, you know, ideology back to like kids. But really, it's just a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> I don't think building a... To some places, like building a... Whenever I was in Boy Scouts for a short period of time. Before my parents just straight up stopped taking me. Uh, building a car. Like, you know, like one of those, like, uh, what do you call those, like, wooden cars? Uh, where you, like, drop them down a ramp and this one goes faster than this one. I wouldn't exactly say that that's, like, teaching kids anything. <laughs> I guess it would teach them physics, but... They're already learning that in school. They don't need, like, in woodworking, we did the exact same experiment, and I didn't even really. And you know what happened <clears throat> is we didn't even get my car graded, so I couldn't even enter the race. Like, I couldn't even enter it. I made, like, this car and everything for this race. I didn't even get to use it because they forgot to take me in to get it graded prior, because there was no really information we never did anything outside like in the wild we i remember going to these meetings nothing really happening uh and then that like weird like cart racing thing whatever you call it <clears throat> and then we saw a helicopter uh and that was pretty much all i remember also my badges were put on wrong on my boy scout outfit so <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna grab this. This is actually a good one to get. So we're in basement one. Okay. Yeah, it's just like... You know, you have to grow up in that kind of like... You, you know, you can't just immediately jump right into it. Like, you know, whenever people go to a survival island, you're going to have no knowledge of most of that stuff if you didn't really think about it. So, like, I think there's, like, this one place. I forget where it is. I think it's in Seattle, where it's technically complete anarchy, right? And you know what it is? <laughs> From what I've seen, uh, it's basically just a bunch of people standing around being hippies, I guess that's a good term to describe it, and it's just, like, politics, it's not really, like, it doesn't look good, like, it doesn't look like a, a happy situation to be in, and it definitely doesn't look like <clears throat> it would be helpful in any way. The reason why we evolved to having schools, like, you know, like, public schools is because... <laughs> You know, you can actually enjoy life uh, and not basically be a full-time teacher teaching them how to read, write, you know, socialize, learn your ABCs. It's like homeschooling is something that only like we really don't have to do because we already have an entire system dedicated around it. But I understand like why some people don't want that because they may need like farmers, for example. They'll need the kids, you know, they'll need extra hands to be able to do farming so they can, you know, continue to make money and continue to live on a farm. So stuff like that, that, um, that is understandable. But, you know, you get situations where people who do like homeschooling, they don't even homeschool their kid. And then the kid grows up to be like a social outcast who spends their entire time on the internet. <clears throat> And they get an entirely wrong kind of personality or, you know, thought process or ideology that just completely just fucks with them. And it's just like, it's not, it's not healthy. It's not like a healthy ideology or anything. And it's just like... An entirely free world kind of doesn't look that good whenever you see it in play with modern society. Uh, you've seen it happen with COVID-19 when everybody was stuck in their homes 
It's just like people went crazy and people were getting like just basically causing the issue to become worse because they wanted to be they wanted to do their average life that they've normally been living in for the past like 20 years not having to worry about anything and just basically going through a routine of their life and now that entire routine completely collapsed they became fucking like psychos and it just became awful and it was just an awful time just because people were just- it really showed, like, society can't fucking live right without, you know. Oh yeah, we definitely need to go in here. Okay. It's like... Really? It's just like... We, we, we already live in a world where it's like, convenience has become a mainstay. So, it's like, I don't know, dude. It's just people think, like, obviously, like, I think, I think comedy is kind of like, it's an evolving source, right? Uh, we've been talking about it for a little bit here. I brought up Jeff Dunham. And it's just like, you know, there's a time and a place when you can use certain jokes and like, oh, yeah, you could, you used to be able to do this back then, but now you can't. It's just like, God damn it. I didn't want to do that. Well, I guess I'm going to be a ghost now and go over here. <clears throat> this way. Cool. Alright. I'm just doing this. I, I need to focus real quick. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know, maybe my, my ideology is wrong. Like, again, like, it's, it's constantly changing, right? This is just currently my, you know, my, my view of the world that we live in now. This is my perspective of the current world that we live in. So, like, maybe it's wrong, maybe it's right, and that's, like... People are always going to tell you that you're wrong. That my- what I'm thinking is right. People want to always be right. I- I don't know why I get, like, fucking philosophical playing Isaac. But I've had the- I literally have had mentioned this com- like, I've made this exact conversation before on stream while playing Isaac. So, it's kind of funny. But, yeah, it's just like- <clears throat> it's like, you know, everybody wants to be right. I, in my mind, I feel like I'm right because it, it feels, it's clear to me. Like, it feels clear to me. And it, from what I'm understanding, a lot of the shit that I say usually ends up being right, even though I literally have no experience in it whatsoever. I mentioned, like, the other day, I'm just like, I, I mentioned something about like furry servers being like being like an entire like passport check or something like that where like you have to go through this entire 200 page form post or something an interview process just to get into a furry server because my thought my thoughts whenever I made that comment was like it was just like I was just thinking like oh yeah because a lot of furries probably get trolled, like, they probably get a lot of, like, negative attention all the time. So in my thought process, I was thinking, their servers are probably really hard to get into because they probably deal with trolls all the time. So then I made the comment, and then it turns out that I was correct to some furries in a Discord server that I'm in told me about it, and they were like, yes, you are completely correct. I'm like, well, that, that was my thought process behind it, was just like, well, because this is the occurrence that definitely most likely happens, then there's a probability that this is probably what happens. So it's just like, for me, I'm very confident in what I'm saying, right? And it's good to be confident in what you say. It's very important. And 
like, it, sometimes it's hard to tell when you're wrong and when you're right. Right? To a lot of people, they believe that they are in the right. They, they believe that they are right. Everything that they're saying is true and factual and you cannot deny what they are saying. That's just how we work. And it's just like, there's nothing you can do about it. Even if you know you are the right person in the situation, you're more than likely wrong in their eyes, right? So it's like, <clears throat> try telling a radicalized person that their ideology is completely flawed and like completely out of date with today's norms, right? It's just like people, the that ideology is completely driven by neglecting the obvious which is that our world is changing and that our world has changed since the 1920s you know since the internet existed it's just like you know like man if we lived back in the time that they think that they're living that they think that the world should be in it's like we wouldn't have modern medicine that we have now right we wouldn't have you know, they think that the world that was back then is decent when it wasn't at all, and it was completely shit. Like, people think that the 80s was fun, but it was really not. It was not fun at all, and it was really bad. But people get caught up in the aesthetics of it, where they think, Oh man, this aesthetic is so cool. Dude, the 80s is awesome. But it's just like, they're, they're blinded by the fact that the music is... Like, a lot of 80s music was good, but they don't realize that the the reason why 80s music was good was because uh, during that time, it was just, like, new instruments were being released, right? And people were going fucking all out while they were on, like, on drugs, right? Like, everybody was doing the most fucked up drugs you possibly could during that time. Like, it, it was definitely, like, an era where... Ignorance was just like a thing and a lot of people are just like Because they grew up in a normal situation. They ended up growing up normal, right? So that's that's another like thing It's just like these people who are nostalgic for like an earlier period of time Are people who they grew up in a period of time and they grew up being just fine, right? They grew up fi just fine. So a lot of people are just like, okay, so because I grew up just fine living in this world that means that other people are going to grow up just fine if they were to live just like me, right? But they don't realize that we live in a completely separate era in this world where that's not even really possible. And people gr grow up with different politics, different, you know, school system, uh, a different world entirely from what they had, you know, in the 80s. So, because of how the 80s was like, right? Completely different. A lot of things people could get away with. A lot of things people couldn't get away with. And it's just like, with how the world is now, you definitely can't get away with the things that you could get away with back then. And it's just like, not everybody even really grew up living a normal life, even in those times. Like, they, they completely forget the idea that, like, there was other people in the world. It's like, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there's, like, over, like, this many, like, billion people on the wor in the world during this time. There's probably a fuck ton of shitty people during this point. It's just, like, they probably grew up in a shit, you know, situation, but because I grew up in a not-shit situation, then everything's fine. Oh, God. The music is getting louder, and now it's not. That's cool. I'll grab this. Wait, who am I playing as? Wait, when did I start playing as Isaac? Why am I playing as Isaac? <laughs> what's, what's going on here? I was not paying attention. I'm playing as Isaac for some reason. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I thought I was playing. I thought I was playing as Judas. But yeah, it's just like 
people we live now where everybody needs to be needs to hear all these commentary YouTubers talk about GTA 6 getting leaked. And you'll see like, oh look, the 15 people I follow on, on YouTube are going to talk about GTA 6 leak. Guess what? They're all going to say the same thing, but I'm going to watch it anyways, right? Uh, it's just like, I've literally watched, I think, like four different occur occurrences of people talking about the GTA 6 leak, and they all say the same thing. It's like, why do we... Why do, why do I sit here and watch these people? They're just gonna say the same thing that I've already heard. And the reason why is because your thoughts about the game are gonna be validated with other people's thoughts. It's a validation. It's a way for people to validate their ideologies, which is, you know, what I've said before. That a lot of people follow these commentary YouTubers is because they have the same ideology as said commentary YouTuber. So they're going to basically follow this person and listen to them because they're like, Oh, they think the same way as me. Well, guess what? Everybody thinks the same way as each other. It's just like some people think differently than others, right? Uh, on certain topics. It's just... And on a lot of topics, this is how YouTube content creators get away with a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, like, this is why reviewers can be so differing. is because reviewing something gives you a chance to give a differing opinion on an on something, right? So you have a chance to say something different that can cause a lot of people to be like, okay, I'm willing to listen to this person. Most of the time on a lot of these subjects, like the GTA 6 leaks, they're all going to say the same thing. It's just going to be a common, you know, thought. It's just going to be like, yep, GTA 6 is leaked. This was kind of cool. Wow, um, do, can you believe that there's people out there who are assholes and don't like this leak and think that they're stupid? I have yet to meet these people, by the way. Um, how dare they show this... Uh, you know, I've never seen any of these people that they're talking about, by the way. I don't know, I don't know where the fuck this, these people who are like, yeah, this game looks so bad, dude, dude, GTA 6 is gonna suck. I've not seen these people. I, I assume that maybe one person, one YouTube commentator said this in just an assumption that there's probably somebody out there who's, who's talking like this, and they're just assuming that there's somebody like that out there. Because I have not seen them. Unless you're, like, really dedicated to it, it doesn't- I don't think the majority of people are dedicated enough to go out of their way to find those people, uh, other than the YouTube commentators who are going out of their way to find these people. Because, for some reason, we need to tell these- tell these internet users, no, no, no. No, bad, bad. You are bad. How dare you think that? How dare you? Right? <laughs> it's just like, like, what are we? Are we basically being like teachers now or parents towards like internet users? It's like, why are you not thinking like me, right? Why are you not thinking like me? Everybody go thinks that we. No, this is pre-alpha game. Watch, go watch fucking Moist Critical. He says this. Go watch Ang Angry Joe Show. He says the same thing. They, they say the exact same thing. They all say the same thing. I bet subordinary gamers will say the exact same thing. They'll bring up the exact fact of there's people in the community who are being mean and you are stupid. Wow, really? Huh. Wait, you're, they're stupid for believing in what they're thinking right now? What the heck? Man, I guess I, guess I gotta... I guess I gotta be an asshole towards this, these people. I guess I, I guess I better be an asshole towards these people who think this. How dare they? I can't believe they're not thinking like me. It's, it's a, it's, it's a game that isn't well reached yet. How dare you say these things? No, stop it. Come on. I'm bullying- I'm bullying the YouTube commentators for saying the same shit over and over again that I have to hear. It's just like, my god. If there's one thing I hate about YouTube content, like, creators, is it's just like, 
people move on so quickly. Like that's the that's the that's the environment we live in where it's just like, you know, like YouTube creation now. It's just like, okay, I'm gonna talk about the subject no one's gonna give a shit about in like a month from now. Like, who the fuck talks about Yandere Dev now after the YouTube commentary scene has decided to stop giving it interest? It's just like people had their fun with it. They're like, haha, look at this loser who I'm not I'm not calling them a loser, by the way. I, I don't I don't know the guy. So uh, look at this person who who's making a game and they're they're not doing a good job at making their f game. Everybody point and laugh at them. <laughs> it's just like all right, we're we're kind of letting cyberbullying slide just a little bit here. We're letting we're letting people get away with being an asshole. Are we okay? Hold on. I might have to. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close. Uh, my screen did like the flickering thing, so I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close OBS and reopen it real quick. Hold on. Okay. Alright, we're back. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We've been streaming for 2 hours and 31 minutes. I'm gonna keep the Chrome open. I'm gonna keep Chrome open just in case. I'll leave that, yeah. I'll leave that open so I can look at the time because the session's gonna be different on here. Let me refresh the screen. There we go. Okay. Alright, cool. We're, we're good. Alright. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, sometimes that happens. But what was it? What was I talking about? Yeah, let, I I feel like yeah, we just kind of let we just kind of let bullying slide there, didn't we? Like cyber bullying. It's just like this guy doesn't make a good game, and I think he's kind of weird, right? Or like he he looks weird, but we literally just kind of like gave people the leeway to bully this person because we we just straight up allowed it, right? It's just like, if you really think about it, like, the commentary community can't- can also not really be healthy. Like, they- they can have, like, the wrong- I- you know, the wrong ideas about things. It's just like, people look up to these YouTubers, they have so much power to say whatever they say, and all these people will just follow. And what happened is, like, all these people followed and- the footsteps of their YouTube creators bullying this uh, coder on making on making a, a game that was poorly made and didn't exactly leave up to leave up expectations or something. But it's just like, I mean, has the dude? If you really think about it, has the dude made a game like before that? Before you know, Yandere Simulator, right? Did the creator ever make a game prior to that? before all these people started backing this game. Is it really, is it, can you really put the creator at fault if the community basically went out of their way to fund said, you know, content? And, and do you think that being complete like assholes towards these people is a good idea? Because it's just like, are you are you gonna end up encouraging on accident by being an asshole towards somebody? Do you think that's really gonna help make them a better person? Because <laughs> every time I've been bullied, it's never made me a better person after I've been bullied. Uh, you know, for my for my uh, like high pitched voice or being annoying, right? It's just like I don't think it's ever really helped me. In any situation, I've been bullied in my life. It's never helped me. So I don't know how the ideology that people... I don't. I keep saying ideology. I feel like that's the only good word to use for it. Uh, I don't think people... You know... Really, really should be thinking that. To begin with. Like, I... I don't know what happened to, like, just, like, giving somebody 
what you know i i don't know why school just didn't bother teaching people hey you know you can give people you know criticism for certain things but it's just like people will take that and they'll be like okay this is my this is my go to be a complete dick right okay so this person isn't really good at coding okay let me let me see here i this is my this is my only knowledge of the situation because you know i didn't go out of my way to fucking harass this person so i don't give a shit like people were making like speed runs speed runs to get banned from yandere dev's discord by being an asshole towards him and just saying like really like mean shit about how he looks that's that's the idea i got from the community so if if i'm wrong that's the entire that's the internet's that's that's the internet's fault because i got the wrong idea because that's just what everybody just fucking focused on was he he has a weak chin or something like that he doesn't look good or something like people think he looks ugly or something and so let's bully him for it and he also poorly coded a game so let's bully him for that like god damn i understand that people can be frustrated when they don't get shit but it's just like you're putting your entire you, you whenever you fund a project to a one person team you should probably expect that person to have issues when developing something, especially when they're inexperienced at development. And yeah, like, I understand, like, the dude was, like, very uptight about how the game was coded, because he didn't exactly understand coding that well. So he was just like, okay, I want the game to still be coded in the way I code it, because that's the way I understand it, in case I need to make changes to it, I won't understand how to do this. He won't go out of his way to learn it. Like, I mean, there's a lot of people who are stubborn like that with everything. Like, you know, can you really call yourself a person if you aren't going to be stubborn about stuff? And he just happened to be stubborn about the way that things are coded and the way that he wanted it made, right? You know, oh, people with OCD, they... There's people out there like that where it's just like, um, they, they need to have everything in a specific way, you know? That's just how society is. So it's, it's just, I don't know. I think, I think some, a lot of people use unfair criticism as a way to be mean when there should also be fair criticism and it's just like the per if the person can't take criticism well at all then it's just it doesn't give you the exact right to be like okay i'm gonna be a complete dick to this person if that person was mean i don't know yandere dev i just know from the perspective of what people have basically made of this person from memes to youtube videos so from my understanding, the dude seems fine, it's just he just poorly coded his game. And he also was inexperienced with coding. And he also, I guess, to a lot of people, was found, people found him unattractive. Right? It's just like, stuff like that. And it's just like, and then he also, I guess, responded to the criticism wrong by trying to basically ban people who are assholes to him. And that was the wrong way to deal with criticism, was blocking out people who were being an asshole towards him. And so he poorly reacted to that, which gave more people the ability to be like, okay, this person doesn't respond to criticism well. I'm gonna use this as, as a way to be, to go to his Twitter or, I guess, his Discord. You get you get what I'm saying. I don't need to repeat myself. I've just... That's what I've been doing the, like, past five minutes. It's true. It's just, like... Do we really need to do that? Is that is that where our focus should be, or... Should it be focused on, you know... Ourselves? You know, improving ourselves? going out of your way to 
I, I know, I think the person, there was like something about like, I think he did something like he was jealous because there was a team of people who made the same game, but did it faster than him. And then they were like, I think he like tried to shut it down or something. I don't know the entire thing. And it's just like something like that. That's an okay to be mean, right? Or not mean mean, but like be like, come on, dude. That's not really fucking... Don't be an asshole kind of thing. Don't be... Don't be... Don't be a, a piece of shit like that. Just because... Because that's just like petty, right? Like your game isn't the best game in the world. Your game shouldn't be the only Yandere simulator or whatever. Although to be fair, if we're going at it in like an like the I don't know if like he was what the reasoning behind it was. Like was it like he's going against them like he thinks that it's copyright? Like is it copyrighted? And he thinks that like his gameplay his game is just like, this game is so similar to mine, and mine was made first, so I need to take legal action, right? <clears throat> and in that aspect, I could kind of see that if the game was basically the exact same thing, except it just kind of had a different coat of paint. But it's not like the people took your source code, right? They didn't take the source code to the game. They just made a game that is basically your game, just different source code. And that's not exactly copyrightable or anything. And I don't I don't know what happened with that. Um And a lot of people, you know, with game development in particular, especially whenever you do like a GoFundMe or Kickstarter, is that pe that sets expectations to people that you are going to be releasing something in a timely manner. The only thing that I've seen so far, although I don't really dive into it at all, because it's just something that I'm not going out of my way to fucking worry about, is um, FNF, their Kickstarter. Very, It was a very big Kickstarter. I've actually backed it myself. I've backed the Kickstarter myself. And <clears throat> it's like... That game barely gets updates, as far as I know. I don't keep track with it. I'm not even paying attention. I don't keep track with what the Kickstarter is doing. I just kind of like... I'm doing my own thing. When it's ready, it's ready, right? And... they, they I haven't heard any kind of like complaints from wide internet, right? I haven't heard like an outcry like, oh man, this FNF game's taking too long. How dare they, right? I haven't heard from them. They're the only exception because they made FNF and the game was incredibly popular. So people, I guess, are willing to wait or be more patient with it because they can basically mod FNF 1 all they like. They can do whatever the fuck they want to that game. They can also do like, uh, you know, like Roblox, which the, with the uh, FNF copycats. You got those games, which are basically just the, you know, mods that are just ported over to a Roblox game. No, no effort really, but other than like the coding of like the buttons and making it look pretty. I guess giving people like 5 million types of customization, which I guess people like. People like being able to customize and make things that are unique to them. But, <clears throat> I really need something to drink. I'm, I'm out of my ginger ale. Um, yeah, it's just like... It definitely is like a something, you know, it's something. And it's just like, man, nobody talks about it anymore. They're, they're, they've gotten their fill and they're done talking about it, right? Maybe it's just uh, I have a problem with wanting to root for the, for the small guys because I was in a similar situation before and I've been, I've been in the situation 
you know, I've been I've been treated unfair or I felt like I've been treated unfairly before. So I feel like I need to stick up for the small guys sometimes, even though I really shouldn't. And it's probably bad for me, but I wanna I wanna be you know, I wanna look at the bright side of things because I know that you know it's hearsay for mo the majority. So what can you really believe in anymore? Like, who do you- which side do you want to take on? For me, I always want to- I always want to see the good in people, right? Which is a huge downfall for me. Uh, cause a lot of people, you know, who are stubborn enough to not look at the bright side. I try to, you know, like, I try to believe in, like, people who are in those unfortunate situations try to think you know do they really deserve what they're getting and in some cases maybe but in a lot of cases it's just like i think people are just trying to find reasons to hate somebody it's just like is it really that necessary do we need to go out of our way to to bully Nikukado Avocado. We want to find reasons to dislike him. Because the reason why he does the things he do he does is because people don't like it. And it's just like, he's going to do what you guys aren't willing to do. And he's going to be like, oh, people are going to be an asshole towards me for doing this. I'm just going to do it because fuck you. Kind of bullshit, right? It's just like, he likes doing what he's been doing. And people don't like that. And he's already- he's pretty much fallen out of relevance because people have gotten bored of basically saying the same thing over and over again. You know, nobody's been talking about Nico Kato Avocado. Other than within like the small hate community that he has. Just like, people don't understand it. And a lot of those times people were just gonna use- use his- unnecessary unhealthy habit as an excuse to be mean or to dislike them and i understand you, you don't have to like their content that's like you're perfectly okay with not liking their content but you know you gotta understand that you know like a lot of the community you know community commentators say is He's doing it, you know, he's trying to be entertaining about it. It's more of a character, I guess. And he even kind of played into it. Like, even if it wasn't a character, he's playing into that said thing. And as soon as he made that video where he's like, I'm always two, step ahead, two steps ahead, that instantly just killed, like, any kind of controversy he basically had. It was just, that's all he had to do. And pretty much just kind of fell into his own little world now. And he still does what he's been doing. He just does the same routine. He looks at shirts, yells at Nancy, yells at corporate. He, he has this whole little cartoonish fucking Drake personality where he just says a bunch of random bullshit every single episode for 50 minutes uh, a piece. And it's like every single day. <laughs> and it's just like, wow. You know, it's just like people will, they'll say, I don't like this. I don't like what he's doing. I don't like that he's being unhealthy. And they're like, I respect the grind. And it's just like, just let him do his own thing. It's not really hurting anybody. He, he does it for the sake of, he does what he does because he finds it entertaining himself, you could say. Like, that's what I see it as. He finds what he does as entertaining and fun. And he loves- he loves being this overtop little goofball... ...goblin. It's just like... He can be nice, you know? If you actually watch the videos, he can be really nice. It's just... You don't see that as an- you know, like, as a random, like, the majority of his community's viewers. They don't see that because they don't go out of their ways to watch multiple episodes like I did unironically just to see like kind of like what happens and if you actually watch them it's just like wow 
he can be nice and then he goes out of his way to be he'll go in between being a normal person who actually has a, you know a decent you know decent thoughts and understandings of everything and he's just like wow and then he goes straight back into his you know like crying crybaby shit right it's just like <laughs> it's funny and it's just I think the the issue with you know ne one of the good good signs of just like Nikocado doesn't want to break that barrier yet or he wanted to break that barrier of showing people that it's kind of like trying to show people that it's entertainment and people didn't want to believe that it's entertainment despite the fact that he's being over the top right like you know he's a good example of like you know too mad being like over the top you know uh what's his name uh what's his name again i somehow forgot his name uh i show speed being over the top and then you go to nico Kado avocado who's being over the top and a lot of people are immediately just like the difference between too mad i guess i it's kind of weird because it's just like um you don't see it that often but with like two uh, with like nico Kado avocado it's just like, oh, people are taking this seriously. Oh, it did it again. Cool. Well, at least, even though my screen's gonna be frozen on here, like if I if I try closing this and then opening it, it's gonna. You'll probably see it on your screen. Yeah, I don't get to see that now because my screen did like the flicker thing. But whatever, I'm just gonna deal with it. Yeah, it's just like, mm, people just kind of like, took it seriously, right? Because they were trying to be cons- They were trying to be concerned about his weight, when it's not really your problem to begin with, so don't worry about it. It's not your problem. I understand that you want to be sympathetic, uh, but it just kind of- for me, it doesn't come off that way. For me, it comes off as you just trying to find a reason to call him fat. Because you're not fat. I grew up with people in my family who are kind of obese. Some of them. And it's more like diabetes or whatever, right? And it's just like, I'm used to it. I, I don't have a problem with it. And it's just like, it's like... Yeah, like, these people are inhibiting, like, can be inhibiting themselves with certain activities that you could do, like, you can do. If you're not, uh, you know, obese in any way, right? And it's just, like, for some of those people who are, if they have enough motivation, they'll do it, you know? There's people who will be motivated enough to actually do something about it, and there's people who aren't. And it's just, like... There's times where that happens, and I don't even know if those people who, like, if people think that bullying them is the right thing to do into doing that. I don't think it is. I don't think it's ever worked. If you ever look at, like, people, I guess a good example are YouTubers who are, you know, obese in that, in, you know, in nature. They, they do it because they want to. It's not because, you know, and it's just like... You really shouldn't even be bringing attention to it. I remember I read, or at least I learned, that you don't want to bring attention to somebody who's bulimic, that they're being bulimic, because then it, it, it doesn't help them. It, it, this was a story of somebody who was bulimic. And there it was a, it, they were saying, like, you know, when I was bulimic, I, it was like a huge issue and stuff, and people kept telling me to try to get me to eat and trying to force it onto me and stuff like that. And then it never worked, but with their friends, like people around them started not paying attention to it and not really, you know, treating them like a normal fucking human being. And it got them to want to actually do something about their issue. And they started eating more. They started actually taking care of themselves and they were going towards a path of, you know, wanting to actually treat their body and give their body nutrients so they can, you know, potentially live longer. You know, theoretically, of course. Um, and it's just like, that's how I want to treat people, right? Like, I didn't understand that when I was younger. 
but you know that's how you want to treat people who have these issues where it's just like you got to treat them like they're a normal human being and if you treat them like a normal human being like there's nothing wrong with them they'll probably want to do something about their issue because they don't feel uncomfortable and then they don't want to do anything about it and then they'll probably maybe eat and then continue to feel like shit and then continue to eat and then keep up with their habits just like stuff like that it's just like you gotta treat them like a normal person don't bring attention to it they already know <laughs> they live with it they already know that they're obese you don't have to remind them every single fucking day that they're obese. They know. <laughs> they are aware. So, you know, next time you ever see somebody who's bulimic or of any kind or anything like that, treat them with some respect because, you know, that's probably going to do way better if you want them to truly lose weight. It's better to not sit there and tell them how they're killing themselves. It's probably better for them to just... Some people have to learn the hard way, right? And not being able to do fun things is the way that some of these people learn. Sometimes it's just like, man, I wish I could be skinnier. You know, people have to come up with that decision on their own. You can't just force it onto them. There's a lot of people who don't want an idea forced onto them. They have to come up with that idea on their own, right? That's the best way to do it. I, I know I keep repeating myself, but repetition is important. That's why teachers do it. Because they want you to get it through your thick skull. They're what they're trying to teach you. <laughs> and it's just like, yes. You gotta be patient. And you gotta treat people with respect. You don't get it from being an asshole towards them and ruining their life. Just because you think that's what it is, it's not just because other people do it doesn't mean that it's the right thing. I feel like that's common knowledge. But it really isn't. You'd think that it would be common knowledge. But a lot of people don't know that. And it was thanks to my school system for teaching me that. Because if I didn't end up using... You remember Reading Plus, that's where I read it from. <laughs> you know, it's stuff like that where it's actually, it makes sense, right? Like, same with, like, people who are... I, I'm not gonna say it, but, like... Don't want to live in this world, right? They don't want to be here. I guess that's the best way to describe it. It's like... You shouldn't treat that person, you should just treat them like the, they tell you this, treat them like a normal person, right? Don't bring up that they're, you know, they don't want to be here, right? Kind of thing. Treat them like a normal human being. That's all you have to do sometimes. Some of the simplest answers can easily be solved. It's just like, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully that helps. I don't, I don't know if what I'm saying is even fucking true, honestly. Like, I, I'm just going off of like my own logic, which is probably false. And you know, I gotta improve it somehow by being wrong. And then someone telling me I'm wrong. Some people are stubborn and they don't want to believe in someone else, you know, telling them that they're wrong. I try to not be like that, you know. I try to think like, I'm not going to be stubborn about a lot of things. There's some things I am going to be stubborn about. Like, you know, like people constantly like harassing me to get a job in my career path. And it's just, yeah, I'm talking about family members. They're so fucking, like, persistent on constantly getting you to work in your fucking career path so early. It's just like, man, do you really, like, care about how I feel? Because, <laughs> like, it's not easy <laughs> at all.
but people think that it is, and they just keep trying to force you to want to, like, get it done and get it- get out there already. That's not how it works. Maybe it worked for you, but it doesn't work for everybody. Definitely doesn't- didn't work for me. Um... Oh my god. God damn it. I probably should have timed that better. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. I think, I think it, I feel like what I'm saying is right. So is that, the question is, is that good enough for some people? Is what I'm saying, even though I feel like what I'm saying is correct, is it actually correct? A lot of people's eyes, it can't. Um, I have a friend of mine that I'm, I know of, and I'm friends with, and, you know, they're very, they don't like, they don't like people who believe or have this idea that they are, I'm not saying, okay, hold on, let me rephrase that because that's the wrong wording. I, re I really want to say this right, but I don't know how to say it without sounding mean. People who aren't comfortable in their own bodies. Or in their own body. There we go. Uh, people who aren't comfortable in their own body and they just, they feel like, um, they are somebody else. I guess that's probably the best way to describe it. They don't, they don't think, I don't, I don't know how to describe it because I don't freaking say the wrong stuff and then get banned on Twitch and also be mean towards that specific community, but I, I hope you know what I mean. My friend doesn't like those kinds of people at all they think it's propaganda from what they were they, they think that it's propaganda and they think that it's it's being forced onto people and that it's just like this is bad right it's just like there's no way i've tried i've i've done it the wrong way there's no way to fix this person they they surround themselves and people who think this and these people are very wrong and thinking that because you know it's just like you you live in like this negative world if you if you really do genuinely think that you're living in a very negative you have a very negative headspace about the world because you're never gonna be able to live like you're never gonna be able to live an easy life if you think those kinds of things because it really doesn't make sense at all you just have been tricked into thinking that by a bunch of dumbasses who believe in each other because they're surrounded by people who think that and they don't realize that the things as they think are really dumb and stupid and it's just like let people it's just a, it's just a way to express yourself right you know art is an expression of the of oneself right and it's just like you're you're disliking people for the wrong reasons because it really isn't affecting you that much is it like is it is it really affecting you that much and it's just like does one bad day dealing with certain type of people really have to affect everybody within that community because of that one simple that one bad person within a community of people it's just like oh because of the, I've had a bad experience with this one person, I'm gonna stereotype everybody into being this one person at all times. And so that's my automatic thinking whenever I see this person naturally. Or any people within that specific category. Right? Just like... You can't argue with this person. But it's also, like, for me, it's kind of like a fascination of the human brain. Right? Just in general, like, the human brain's fucking crazy. But, like, it's, it's a fascination for me because it's, like, this person who knows nothing about politics just immediately believes everything that somebody in their life tells them and be automatically believes what all these people that they've never even met in real life tell them, even though they've never really met, like, have you really met, like, if these people ever met like any of these people within that kind of community, like if they've actually met them and was just like normal around these people, it's just like you'd understand that you're being a little bit harsh over re something really dumb and you probably 
would wish that you weren't like that because you'd be like, oh wait, this person isn't that bad kind of thing, right? Like, they're, they're, there's not bad people. There's tons of bad people within every community. It's not just one community, right? Like, just everybody, everything, there's going to be a bad apple in it. It's not just one person in particular, but we associate, for some reason, we associate something bad within a certain type of community of people uh, automatically and it's just maybe it's just the way you grow up maybe it's the people who believe in that ideology f f for some reason pass down that ideology to their siblings because they want them to think like they think because they think that they are correct right so it's just like, man, we're, we're worrying about the wrong stuff again, like I said. So I don't know. It's just like there's nothing I can do to change this person other than hope that they stop being around those people and stop living around that kind of energy. Because if they really meet people within these kinds of people, you know, like these kinds of communities or whatever, they'll see that there's not... There's definitely, like, you know, there's bad people and everything, but there's definitely good people, and they're, they're normal. Like, you know, they're, these are people. These are actual human beings that you are being mean towards because they like a specific kind of thing, and they live a certain lifestyle of some kind, right? Like, do you, is it really... Like, it, of course, like, the lifestyle... You know, obviously, if it's a questionable kind of lifestyle, that's clearly just, like, what the fuck is wrong with you kind of thing, right? It's just like that that kind of lifestyle I completely understand, but whenever it's harmless, it's just like, is it really that big of a deal to make it a big deal? Because it's not hurting anybody. It's just somebody liking something. Like like people who go to Comic Con, right? Like people love comics. People love that kind of stuff, right? Like people love Dis Disney. Like I don't fucking I don't respect Disney as a company whatsoever, personally, because they're they're very like greedy. Like the sh the food there is expensive as fuck. Uh, they they do all these like movies that aren't re really even that good to begin with. Oh yeah, wait, is there any health? No. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, let me grab that real quick. It's just like I I'm just not gonna like that's not my scene. I'm just gonna be like well. What are the other qualities of a person who likes this individual thing, right? Like, even if, like, this person politically doesn't like- we, we, we were taught this in school. If this person doesn't politically align with what I politically believe, what are their other qualities in life, right? Like, you can still kind of, like, learn to like somebody and even maybe even convince people to not believe in that anymore by just being a good person that in within that community that they s essentially don't like. Right? You can you can learn to love people. And I will say that, like, you know, some things you definitely shouldn't like about a person. Like, if they're a shitty person, obviously, like, fuck them, right? They're, they're being a shitty person towards something un unapologetically shitty. But, you know, they're... If, if there's anything outside of politics that are likable, it's just, like, as long as, like, you can get behind some things like you have to pick and choose something it's like a you know the would you rather train where it's like oh would you rather like run over 10 people but save like 20 animals or something right it's kind of like that logic it's just like you, you kind of have to pick and choose like you're not going to get a perfect person in the world anymore you're not going to get somebody who's going to be like exactly like you which, to a lot of people, that's like kind of like the point of communities. It's like, oh look, this person's just like me. They have similar interests or something like that. Um, but you gotta pick and choose sometimes. And I don't know. It's just, it's really hard now. It's really hard to get new people. Like, like make new friends because sometimes they're in, into stuff that aren't really necessarily good. And it's just like... Some things are okay to like, and some things aren't okay to like, and it's just like... It's- it's really complicated. 
it's a really complicated subject. If you think about it, the more and more you think about it, it's just like, man. Is what I, is what, like, I enjoy, is that bad? Right? It's just like, what, what's okay and what isn't okay? And is somebody willing to deal with that? Like, I don't know. As long as they're not constantly rubbing it in your face. Like, do they have likable qualities? Maybe. I don't know. It's just like... It's hard, you know? It's hard- it's hard to judge somebody based off of, like, one similar- one thing, right? What can- what- like, I guess even the severity of it, like, how severe- how bad is the thing that they like, right? Like, in terms of just, like, normal- this is what everybody understands is wrong kind of thing, like, murder. Like, oh, this person murdered somebody, but man, they- they have a great sense of music. It's just like stuff like that, right? It's just like, is it is it am I is it really okay to really like this person because, yeah, they murder, but man, they they love the same video games as I do. It's just like, it's, I don't think like it's stuff like that where it's just like it's hard for you to like. Well, you should pretty much be nice to this person because they fucking murder people, right? It's just like it's hard. It's hard. I don't think I don't think you should be friends with a psy psychopath. That's not what I'm saying, but I'm just trying to give an example. Of just like some things are harder than others to judge a person on. You know, like with politics, that's easy to brush off, right? That's that's easier to brush off because what if what if that person isn't really that bad of a person, other than they just believe like tape should be banned in all states. You know, they're not that bad of a person. They just think that, uh... They just think that bandages are bad for the, uh, for... For the ecosystem. You know? Th those kind of harmless kind of things. Where, you know, it's, it's like, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, sometimes it's hard to know who to like and dislike. Oh, the, I hate this boss fight. Oh, you tried to hit me with that? Good thing I was able to kill them. Alright, cool. Dude. Okay. I mean, we, we have a decent setup right now. I, I, I've i not been really paying attention. Er, oh, yeah, that's good. So, there's two of these who are the same pills. These are tears up. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Okay. <laughs> if I think of anything else to talk about, I'll bring it up, but... I was just, man, I went on. I went on about that, like, whole subject for, like, fucking... <laughs> I think, like, two hours. I really got run up on that. But, yeah, I just, I don't know. It's just, like, people... Especially Twitter. I feel like Twitter's kind of, like, toxic towards... Definitely not good. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just, like, my... My friend has the wrong idea, but it's not because it's just, you know, he doesn't know better. And I, I'm completely aware of, like, this person can change their idea, you know, their, their thoughts if they just, you know, meet the right people and understand that, like, they shouldn't hate this type of group of people, right? Like, it... Maybe it's like a, a bad mentality of like a I can fix some kind of mentality, but that's just kind of like how I think right It's like his his dad is just very like Interesting I'm gonna grab both of these so I can do this and then switch to this Stop shooting at me. Range up. Nice. But yeah, it's just like... I know, I know, like, it's... Other than, like, their shitty political beliefs that were put onto them because that's what they, for some reason, think that their parents are right, and that's... Because they're very confident in what they say, right? Like... 
it's just like, I mean, dude, you don't have to be like that, right? You know, you don't have to actually believe in that. Just because other people that you've hung out with believes in that and you're surrounded by other people who believe in that, you shouldn't believe in that, but they do. And it's just like, it's just like, man. Also, how am I supposed to do that without getting hurt? That kind of sucks. I lost like a bunch of health there. But yeah, it's just, oh man. I, I want... I want, I want, I want them to not believe in that anymore. And I, I, I hope that I can help them, you know, naturally, instead of arguing with them about it, because that doesn't fucking work. I know, I know how their brain works. It's just like, that doesn't work like that. So it's like, how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to do this? Because this is something that's fixable. And I know it's fixable. They just need to stop being around those kinds of people. But they live with that kind of person, so it's like, man, I I wish that they didn't think that. Like, if they if they just met the right people, if they just met the right people before they were talked to by this person who believes in that, maybe if they didn't fucking... It's just like, I, I have that thought constantly. It's just like, I'm just gonna treat them like a person, not bring up politics, and just like... Oh yeah, you know, like, kind of like, naturally kind of bringing up, it's just like... They, they think, it's so, so stupid. They're like... Is it really that funny? It's not really. I don't find it funny. Even if it, if it was like a joke, it's not. But it's not really like you're gonna get your shit kicked in if you do that kind of shit. Like, it's like, yeah, just because we're around and we're edgy doesn't mean that, like, other people think that at all. Or, like, people are gonna agree with you. Most of- most people don't think that. I- I- I would assume most people don't think that. Is this my first level? Oh, it is. I just died. Wait, when did I die? Did I die? Yeah, I did. I didn't even realize I died. Huh. I'm just not even really thinking. I feel like I just need to, like, play like a random character that's not, like... <laughs> I'm literally, like... I'm just like my brain is just playing this game while I'm just sitting here talking about like philosophy or something. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. I just I feel like what I was saying is kind of common knowledge, but I guess it, it really isn't if I have to explain it. I hope that I'm I'm right. I I I hate to be wrong. It would be a shocker if I was, you know, it'd be a shocker if I was, if I was wrong, honestly. I do think like, um, like most politics, I just stay out of entirely. It's just like, man, a lot of this is just way too just fucking like, I can't say anything about this because like, fuck me. Like, what if I say something that I believe in now that I well then, that I didn't believe in back then, or didn't understand back then, and then I'm just like, well shit. That's gonna come back to bite me if I say something, right? So like, if I- if I say anything, like, oh hey, look, hey. I'm not- I'm not gonna say here, because I don't want to get political on this, but... Or, have I been getting political? I don't know. I don't feel like I've been. Oh uh, god. So burning basement. Okay, keep going. But it's just like I don't I don't want shit in my past that I that I'll say or I've said at some point to come back to me because I said it in the past and it's just like, well shit, because I said this in the past, 
that's gonna, like, fucking hurt me if I say some shit. Because people don't understand that you can change as a person. And that you can understand that you, you, you know, like, there's nothing you can do with shit that you said. You know, like, back, back before the internet, you could probably get away with shit that you said back then. And you could be treated as a normal human being for the rest, you know, the whole, your whole life. Unless you keep constantly bringing it up or something like that, right? It's just like, on the internet, oh boy, oh boy are you held accountable for everything you say. And a lot of people don't fucking realize that. Uh, is that you're gonna be held accountable for every little thing that you've said on the internet. Ever. Even a as a joke. And it's just like, oh they're gonna fucking treat this out of context for the rest of your life. If you're not careful with what you say. And man oh man. I don't want that to happen to me. I know that fucking has happened to me before when I was like with uh back in like PlayStation 3 era, definitely. Um but I don't want that to happen. <laughs> so I I need to fuck like I try to fucking straight up stay out of certain things. It's just like in like it's like even like with certain jokes it's just like you can't make certain jokes because I don't know, people just want to fucking have a reason to dislike you. And that's why, that's what I've been learning, is I need to learn to watch what I say. Because even if it's as a joke, it's just like, if it's not obvious enough, people will, people will take it. And they'll be like, hey, I'm going to fucking try to ruin your life with this. I'm going to try to make you look like a piece of shit in front of all these potential, potentially millions of people. Cause you decided to have an uh, and I, you decided to have an opinion on something I didn't agree with. So I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna try to make you look like the piece of shit. Cause you, you were a piece of shit as a kid because you were ignorant. My God. And so, yeah, I'm gonna have to live with everything that I ever say on the internet. And that's just the culture of the internet now. It's just, you're you're held accountable for everything. Even if it was like five years ago, right? It's just like, people will nonchalantly talk about a crime they basically committed where they trespassed somewhere. And it's just like, well, there's no, there's no, you know... This is all just a joke. I didn't actually mean it. And it's just like, there's no evidence for it. So it's like, how can you know? Just like, oh, but on the internet, if you've ever said anything or have posted a video of you doing anything like that, that's going to come back. That's going to come back. Somebody somewhere on the internet, for some reason, saved that one clip of you saying something stupid. And now you that you're fucked. <laughs> you're fucked. I, br I brought this up on Twitter, it's just like, I don't ever want to be fucking, I don't want to have ever fu any, ever have any kind of attention of any kind whatsoever. Because, oh my fucking god, I cannot, I would not be able to handle it. I, I would not be able to handle it. Fucking dream getting, like, constantly harassed by people because... He did like a sp he did speed running streams where he cheated basically. Okay, let's get this guy. Let's fucking get this guy. Let's same with sewer uh, sewer slut, exact same thing. It's just like you were edgy on the internet. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How dare you? I'm gonna use this against you and we're gonna fucking make your life a miserable, a miserable hell because you were edgy. Because I, I'm offended by what you said. I'm very offended. There's no way you can tell because this is text. I'm gonna, you know, people can pretend to be offended by things on the internet, so they can get what they want. There are people out there who may be offended by certain things, 
because it makes them feel better, right? Like, you know, I, I don't know. I think being offended by certain things is, is fine, right? But man, it, it's like we are driven by like anger, aren't we? We're driven, we want things to make us angry because it makes us feel, it makes us feel angry. And we love to be angry about stuff. And I will say like, it's just like, man, I don't know, dude. It's just like, I'm- I was edgy on the internet, and that's gonna come back to haunt me. Easily. No matter what I do. That's gonna come back to haunt me. <laughs> Even if it was supposed to be innocent in nature, it's not to most people. Who don't like that, or want it to not be innocent. Because, th that's, a, that's another thing. You'll see this happen a lot, where people have an idea of what you are. They have this idea, and that's all they believe. They don't care. They believe in this, and that's what they believe in. No matter what you do, like, you can't defend yourself. They've already made up their mind on, on painted a picture of what they think you are. This happens on tons of times. It's happened to me. It's happened to other people. It's just like... Um, this is Catacombs 1. Okay, so no other shit. Okay. Yeah, it's just... I, I'm, I'm... I don't want that. I don't want to have to deal with that ever. And so... And to a lot of people, probably the easiest way is to never bring attention to yourself ever. On the internet because if you bring attention to yourself and you don't have people to defend you who know that you were joking at the time uh they're they're gonna you're gonna get overwhelmed by more people who believe in the person who wanted who wanted everything bad to happen to you in that instance because they found a reason to dislike you right And a lot of people don't realize that because they don't, they don't ever go into the, well, they kind of do, but they, they really go on the internet without the intention of ever, like, you know, expecting anything out of it other than what they want, right? You know, they, they don't expect to ever get any kind of attention until they want to do specific things to get the attention. Like, they want to be right. They want their 15 minutes of fame. Like, the, um... It's just like... I don't know. It's just, now, whenever you make a mistake... Uh, people won't let you down anymore. The internet will never let, let your mistakes down. Even if they were mistakes at one point in time. And, um... <clears throat> Locals are a perfect example of that. And, um, you know, like, Chris Chan... Although, like, to be fair, Chris Chan's a completely different subject entirely. And it's just like... Chris Chan's just like... That person that is just like... They've made a lot of mistakes that are inexcusable, right? They've made ex mistakes that are inexcusable and you shouldn't support it. And it's just like, some people, you know, shit that they've done, like, five years ago, like, I guess DSP being bad at video games, and then not liking that people are making videos trash-talking him being bad at video games. That's enough for people to hate you. Or, I guess, dis dislike you. Hate is a strong word, but... Stuff like that. People will latch on to stuff like that and you're going to be held accountable for the rest of your life for something that can easily be fixed, right? Or just something that can easily be glossed over if it wasn't for the internet, right? Yeah. 
like the dude cheesing tournaments and Street Fighter. And I think that's another thing that DSP got shit for was that he would cheese tournaments or try to. And he's won a couple back in the day and people got mad at him for that. But people have held him accountable for it, right? You know, these videos who are talking about him and these like things that come up. I think the, one of the biggest issues, as much as I like these kinds of like those kinds of videos, it also brings up a huge issue of reigniting those specific feelings, right? Where it's like, all right, I'm gonna reignite this memory of this person doing one minuscule thing back in like 2009, and I'm gonna hold them account. Uh, now people are gonna hold them accountable for it, and they're gonna remember. Oh yeah, wait, <laughs> wait, this dude cheesed the entire tournament and then made it a big deal, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna just be very upset with this person for doing that. Caves 2? Well, at this point, I'm not even fucking, I'm not even, like, playing the game right at all, so I guess at this point it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, whatever. I'll just, I'll just fight, I'll just fight the beast, I guess, I don't know. I haven't had much to drink. I haven't left my room. I've been too busy talking. I haven't been hydrating enough lately. Even though I thought I I kind of have. But I, I guess I haven't. Because I've been getting slight minor headaches. Every night. Kind of. It, it goes away. But like, yeah, like right now, since I haven't been drinking for three hours, I'm definitely getting a headache. Because I ha I've been talking a lot, and I haven't had anything to drink. I've been sitting in a hot room. Uh, so, yeah, I'm getting a headache probably because of those reasons specifically. I really should be getting a drink, shouldn't I? Okay. Yeah. I don't know, dude. But yeah, no, I... It's just like, man... The internet's such a fucking crazy fucking place because it's like you really can't, you really have to be fucking squeaky clean from the beginning or at least scrub every possible bit of like your past possible. I won't be able to do that for some things. I, I definitely won't <laughs> unless I'm willing to spend probably weeks constantly scrubbing myself from something. Just, just to try to have a chance at having, like, a redemption of any kind. But, it's just like, man, I've said, I've said some really stupid shit. And it's just like, I, I gotta live with that, you know? Not, people are not gonna re realize that it's all a joke of any kind. It's just like, no, he's serious. You know, all jokes, you know, all jokes derive from, from a truth. <laughs> All jokes derive from some kind of truth. I, I don't know where the fuck that people heard that from. But if that's true, my god. Uh, <laughs> there's some really, you know, fucked up people in the world that we're just kind of letting go. Uh, you know, roam free. Man, Filthy Frank, you know, how does, how the fuck, you know, how does Joji have a career? Man. Those jokes that he was making is playing as a character, you know. Those were, those, you know, th th those were jokes. No, it, no, it's, those jokes derived from a truth. I mean, yeah, I guess like in, in some instances, it's okay to agree with Filthy Frank, but man. You know, it's stuff like that. It's just like, oh man, he believes in what fil his character Filthy Frank says, right? He has to. It's just like that's that's the that's the that's the like you know the comeback that people use. It's like I suck with arguments, at, like in general. Like I can't win an argument, and I suck at lying. Like I I genuinely do suck at lying. So if I'm like fucking pissing myself and crying, then there's a chance that I'm guilty of whatever I'm being. You know, like I guess like you know I guess a good example is like. When I was a kid, like, I stole 
<laughs> fucking, you know, like when you know that you're doing something wrong, right? Like if I know I'm doing something wrong for something, right? Like I know, like whenever I make certain like edgy jokes or something, right? I know that it's a joke, uh, but other people won't get that. And obviously people don't know you, right? Like people don't entirely know you, so they don't know what's real and what isn't, right? It's just like, oh, this must be how they are. I guess, oh, I guess a, another good example would be Ellen DeGeneres. She is a completely different person off of the camera, from what I've heard. And she's gotten shit for it, for being a different person off camera. And it's just like, people will give you issues for stuff like that, you know? Oh, how dare you be a completely different person outside of your personality from the TV. It's like, really? Do we have to he hold people accountable for something like that? Like, I mean, like... I'm not like who I am on my Twitter. There, there's some truth to it, right? Like, I'll, I'll have times where I'm, like, actually having a serious discussion about something. Or, like, I'll actually have a serious, like, you know, thought about something. And it's pretty obvious, I, I would assume. It's pretty obvious, like, which one's a joke and which one isn't, right? It's just, like... That was it. Okay, so we're in the de- uh, why? It doesn't matter, just keep going. But yeah, it's just like... You can- you can be held... I- I... Yeah, you- you get what I'm saying at this point. It's just... I'm fucked if I ever get- like, that's why, like, I'm just like, I need to avoid certain topics. It's just like, I can't- I can't really, like, defend these people like in in any kind of like opinion on certain things because i'm just gonna basically because if you're a hypocrite in any way or at least you seemingly look like a hypocrite in any way then yeah that's it you're done right even if your opinions have changed over time right your opinions and ideology can change you know as you do as a person you know that's what learning is that's why you learn in school you're learning how the world works you learn how things are and you change as a person that's the whole point right and to some people that's not the case to a lot of people they forget about that they forget that you can change a lot of people think that the answer to all everything and it's only the only thing I've noticed from this is people who are actually in it uh, is um, um, therapy. I always hear people like the people that I hear people talk about, oh, you should go to therapy kind of, are the same people who go to therapy, right? They want to they want to be able to talk to somebody who's also going to therapy. So they, they want more people in therapy like I understand like why you believe that therapy is an answer, right? Not a lot of people can afford therapy. <laughs> There's a lot of people who definitely could use therapy, I'd assume. I don't even know, like, how therapy, like, what I need for therapy. Probably maybe just, like, understanding my brain a little bit better, I guess. Or understanding, like, how I work. You know, like, even though I think I know how I work. I guess you need a second opinion for it. That's like a main thing. And a lot of people who don't have co uh, common sense, which is definitely a, an abnor, you know, an abnormality, 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 whatever, one of those words. Uh, you know, it's just something that you'd not expect people do not have but there's a lot of people who don't know that they don't have it and they don't realize it they don't realize that they don't have it because they don't know <laughs> uh so it's just like you know <laughs>
Is this an XL? No, it isn't. Okay. Yeah, it's just... You know, it's just like... I, I'm trying to like fucking... Trying to think here. I, I know I'm, I'm like sucking right now. I'm trying to regain my, my thoughts here while dealing with a boss fight. You know, something I should be focusing on. But instead I'm talking about bullshit. There we go. You know what? Fine. What do you got? I'll take this one. I don't even know what that is. That does something. Ow. I don't know what I grabbed. Yeah, so... <sighs> I just... I just think, like, I... I don't want... You know, I don't know. I, I want to do the right thing as best as I can. I want to do the right thing. And... Um, there's a chance that even if I want to do the right thing, people aren't going to want to, you know, take my side for anything. There's a, there, there, there is that chance for it because they're like, oh, this person had a bad opinion about something. So I'm going to, you know, I don't know. Oh yeah. We were talking about therapy. My bad. So yeah, therapy. Probably one day. I'll, I'll be able to afford therapy and I'll do it. Just, you know, I don't know what I'd talk about. Probably just kind of figure myself out more. Figure out kind of like, you know, I guess again, get a second opinion about, you know, my thoughts, I guess. But I don't exactly know what, you know, what I'd use it for yet. I guess to just better myself. But that seems to me... From what I see on the internet. That seems to be the common solution to getting rid of, like, I guess criticism. It's just like, uh, the, the most common way to get rid of, like, people who are gonna get angry at you about something, right? If you tell them, hey, I'm going to therapy, they're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, okay, you know what? Everything that you've ever done is now completely I, you, you've, you, you've been, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? You've been, ah, fuck, what's the word? You've been, oh, I think you've been, Fuck, what's the word? I think it starts with an R. Re... Re... No. Re... No. Um... You have been forgiven. That's the word I'm looking for. You are now forgiven because you went to therapy. Um... And you, you stayed off the internet for a long time. Uh, and you've not, Since you've gone to therapy privately and not been continuing to be on the internet ever or having any kind of online presence and now you are basically uh you are basically nobody any uh, now you're you are at our level now um which is what their subconscious is thinking you, now you are a nobody um you have been forgiven now that you've spent a long time off the internet and have gone to therapy you are now forgiven I could probably just straight up say that I, I've gone to therapy even though I haven't and I basically just changed. You, you could probably try that. Like, just basically don't actually go to therapy. Go away for, like, stay off the internet for a long period of time. And then uh, just be like, oh yeah, I went to therapy. And you just basically do what you did before, but now people have forgiven you and it's just like, Wow, I did absolutely nothing. I've changed nothing. I've already changed before. But people didn't believe that I changed. So because I said I went to therapy, now people think I have changed in their minds. And now they're like, oh, I can forgive this person now. They've already made up their minds. They've already painted a picture, a picture of who you are in their heads. It's gone. 
So. I mean, unless they fucking stalk you, how are they supposed to know you actually went to therapy? Think about it. I don't even know. Like, again, like, I don't even know what I... What I need therapy for, because I don't... I don't suffer from, like, depression, or as far as I'm aware of. I, I have ADHD. Uh... But... I don't think I need therapy for ADHD, do I? Because everybody nowadays have a has ADHD. Even if the ADHD that I have is actually genuine ADHD, not the new age ADHD as far as I'm aware of, where it's just hyper, from what I can tell. I don't know. New age ADHD isn't the same as what I grew up with. You know? My fucking ADHD was people fucking bullying me, but now... Nowadays, people are like, it's almost kind of like a, like, clout. It's like, it's like a clout thing, isn't it? It's just like, yeah, I got ADHD, haha, <laughs> teehee. It's like, it's like a social thing, even though I, I genuinely suffered from it. It's not fun. At and like, it's cool, like, you know, people like to say it's a superpower, but it... it I don't know. I mean, like, you could say the same thing for people with autism. Like, I, lo I love people with autism. I, I, I genuinely do. It's just like, um, they're so different, you know? Like, they're not the same, usually, you know? It's just like, they're, they're themselves. Whenever we live in a world where everybody's the exact same, it's nice to see people who are different, you know? Because at least... People who are different, they have more s I don't know, it, it, it's like, it, whenever I was a kid, the first thing I always did was I tried to find the people who were the odd ones out because they were more likely to align with me as a person, you know, like it's like, oh this person's probably, probably gonna be really nice or something like that, you know, cause they don't talk to, they don't seem to talk to a lot of people, so they're probably actually a really good person. They tend to be, you know? Like, some of them have their issues. But it's just like... In a, in a world where everybody acts like they don't have a problem. Like, they're, they're, they're completely normal. It's nice when you actually get to see people who are just like... I'm actually gonna be my... You know, I actually... Have a problem, but I'm dealing with it. And it's just like... Yeah, you know what? You're right. It, it sucks that we have to deal with it. Kind of thing. But, you know, you live with it. And a lot of people, I don't know, it just feels like sometimes it's just not treated that way. I don't know. I, I try to treat everybody equally, as best as I can. So, it just frustrates me whenever I see, like, people treating, like, somebody who has, like, who has, I guess you could say, special needs. And they treat them like they're, like, fucking babies. And it's just like, come on. They're not babies, you know? People with special needs aren't babies. They're just, you, they're you and me. They just were born with a, something that they didn't have a choice in. You know? They didn't get a choice to to be the way that they are. They just happened to end up being that way. And it's just like, just gotta treat them with respect. I think South Park does a good job at doing that. They don't treat... I, they mentioned in the interview, they're like, you know, the kids treat them like they're just a normal, normal people, and people got angry with them for treating them like normal people, <sighs> which is true. People were like sending them hate letters or something for treating a uh, what was their name? Um, what was his name? Timmy and Jimmy, like they were just, you know, normal, and that's true, you know, like. People have quirks, you know? People people always have quirks and it's just like it's fun. It makes it makes life more interesting when you when you are with people like that, because it's just like th these are actual people and it's just like they, they can have great personalities too. I use they as like a general term. Uh hopefully that's not offensive or anything. But you know, I'm trying I'm trying to be not offen as not offensive as possible and trying to explain that. I treat. I keep. I feel like I'm making it worse. I'm trying to not make it worse. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to s explain myself. 
because I love I love people, but there's some shitty people out there, and there's some good people out there, and it's just like treat everybody equally, unless they do something really shitty, right? If there's if there's a person out there who's doing something awful, it's just like yeah, that's that's just awful, right? You gotta. And the same with like standing up for yourself when you need to. A lot of people they don't like to stand up for themselves. They're just like like for me it's really hard for me to want to stand up for myself. It's just like I don't know. I I think it's just my anxiety or I I don't even have described or like I have un I guess you could say I have undescribed social anxiety. I don't think mine's nearly as bad anymore. It used to be really, really bad. Like I, I for a little bit, like definitely during high school, I had really bad like social anxiety. I still kinda do. It's still again like I I'm saying it's undescribed because it, I don't know if I do or not. I, I just I definitely get I have symptoms of it. That's a good example. I have symptoms of having some kind of social anxiety. But I don't know if I have any. Yeah, I'm dead, but that's fine. I've been streaming for about four hours of me just talking. And this is perfect. I, I, I genuinely am happy that I've I was able to stick to like topics and actually flow along here, because it's like, you know. I think I think that's one thing that's good for me when it comes to working is that it actually makes me more talkative because I kind of like I've spent some time at work today you know talking and just saying the same lines over and over again that I I guess it just kind of broke me out of my little like you know broke the 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 glass or I forget the term for it what was the term broke the ice I broke the ice on the talking part, so I'm just like, okay, since I broke the ice, I'm definitely going to be more talkative for stream. Meanwhile, if you remember, like, when I was just home, and I kind of didn't really, like, go out, I didn't really have, like, a way to, like, I guess I didn't really have anything to talk about, because I wasn't going out of my way to, like, I guess talk about things. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the... I'm gonna pull up this. And then I'm gonna move the clock. There we go. It's the mollusk. I'm gonna move the clock up to... above the display. Should be right there. Let me see. Yep, cool. I'm gonna put on some music too. Let's put on some music. I'm at, I I really didn't get anything that I had like one thing of like water. Or no, I had one thing of I have a thing of water here, hold on. I'm gonna drink five things of water, like five water bottles at least after I finish streaming here and rest my throat I'm talking so much because I didn't and then just not having any water to like you know keep it nice and <clears throat> moist all right let's see here what should we listen to oh I do some talking I would do like Joji like you know like the SoundCloud stuff but I, I'm pretty sure that that's all copyrighted. I can check actually just to be sure. It might not be. Oh god, don't play it, don't play it, don't play it, don't play it. Is this copyrighted? No, it's not. Okay, I'll put this in the background. If it was copyrighted, uh this This would be uh this would have a copyright thing in the bottom. I love the old Joji album, you know, the Chloe Burbank stuff. This is probably my favorite, um, cause I just, I love it. Um, I will probably skip, I'm probably gonna skip the I'm Gonna Wait song, which you know what it actually is. 
if you actually listen to Joji. I'm not, like, too big of a fan of him. I don't know. Like, I like his older stuff, obviously, you know? But it's just, like, I don't know. His newer stuff's been kind of ass. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I, I think um, Filthy Frank TV 2, him, he, uh, he made a great review on the newest album where he's just, like, it makes complete sense. It's just, like, his sound that he had in Chloe Burbank is just nowhere to be seen. After he joined the label, his music's, like, completely gone, like, to the wrong direction. But it worked out for him, and most of his, like, fucking fans are a bunch of, like, Zoomer fucking BS at, uh, people who drink coffee and Starbucks and shit. They don't understand... Like, that it's not really that good. If you think about it. It's not what sound that I liked when I started listening to Joji. And I was a big fan of Joji, you know? I still am. It's like Rick and Morty. It's like the season sucks, you know? I haven't seen... I've seen one episode of the new season so far. I still need to watch them. It sounds like it just has gotten worse again. So, from what I've heard. Or from what I've seen. Just like by like a, images or whatever. I don't think it's gonna fucking improve in any way or whatever, but yeah, it's just like... Oh man, I don't know, dude. It's just like, fuck. Shoji, you know, like, same with, like, Rich Brian, where apparently his sound completely changed. It's a good theory. Like, it's a theory I came up with, and I think it's a good theory where it's just like, ever since he joined the label that he's under, I forgot the name of it, um... I, how did I forget the name of his label that he's under? Um, ever since he joined that label, his sound's completely changed. And, I mean, hey, it works for him because he makes money off of it. But I don't personally like a lot of the songs. I, there's some songs I like, some songs I don't like. And a lot of the songs from his newer stuff aren't as good. There's a glimpse of a... Oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot. Um, his new, new song. He made a new one, and it's okay. <laughs> it's average. It just sounds like nectar. More nectar, and, and... I wanna go back to... I don't know, like, it's just like... There's some songs I like from... Joji, from the newer stuff. Um, fuck... The original, like, I like, uh, the pretty... The fuck the club. I like Fuck the Club more than Pretty Boy, to be honest. I think Fuck the Club's better. Uh, TikTok. I like TikTok. That one was a good one. Because it kind of had the old school Joji. Well, no, 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 not TikTok. Uh, Upgrade. Upgrade is the one that sounds like old school Joji. Uh, which I think was on purpose. A uh, Glimpse of Us was alright. I think it- people, you know, like the fucking stands or whatever you want to call them. Little, you know, overreacted a little bit too much to liking it. I mean, it's not really technically that good. I- I don't know. It's fine. But I- I- It's not really kind of like what I enjoy, you know? Like, this is- this is what I like, you know? And see you. Anymore. It was, I, I never see you anymore, idiot. I never see you anymore. The, the reason why this music kind of stuck with me was when I first heard it, it's fall, right? This is the perfect just fall music. Uh, Chloe Burbank is just chill music you put on the car and there's like some snow on the road and or like rain. Like, snowy or rainy day driving down in the city, you know, in downtown. It's perfect downtown drive city snow music, right? Where you're just chilling out with your friends, just hanging out. And that's that's where I got to listen. That's where I started listening to this, was that exact experience, and it's just perfect. You know, like, that exact scenario where you're driving in a car on a rainy day or... You know, or a snowy day. I'm repeating myself, but I'm just going to repeat it so I add weight to my words. I don't know. Um, and it's just 
it's just, you know, just a chill day driving in downtown. Maybe you see, like, maybe you want to go to an Ikea, or maybe you want to go get some fucking rallies. Right? Or maybe you want to go check out and see what's going on in downtown. You know, just see all the, the homeless people and panhandlers, right? Just, like, stuff like that, you know? Oh, this has an ad on it, so that's not good. Oh, this one has an ad. Wait, wait, wait. This, did this one have an ad? No, no, no. Okay, World Star Money does have an ad because I believe World Star Money, uh, for some reason, yeah, Joji. Joji actually, it was on In Tongues? Oh, it was. That's right. Okay, yeah. In, okay. It's a good thing I'm paying attention to that. That's right. World Star Money was brought back for In Tongues. That's right. I forgot about that. Wow. Eh. Um, that kind of sucks. But, yeah. To viewer Andy. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Is this it? Actually, it's, it's one viewer Andy. Uh, I'm just talking about random shit. Alright? I don't, I don't fucking care if I don't have any viewers. This is more like, it's kind of like a, like, I just talk to myself kind of thing, right? If there's people here, there's some people, like, <laughs> I had two other people here today that actually chatted. But, yeah, I'm just talking about random shit before I stop streaming, because I've been streaming for four hours, and, um, I've just been talking about, like, I've been very talkative today. I'm I'm very happy that I was able to fill the air for the entire stream, which is good. Gah? What? What? Do, do you like my wallpaper? It's my wallpaper. I just put the the um I just put this thing over it. Hold on. Let's put this thing over it. You might be able to see it. I think you did, so. There you go. There's what it normally looks like. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Joji, uh, I, I hope that his new album isn't going to be ass. I, I really do hope it's not, because I, I want, well, I know I'm never, I, I just need to get over the fact that I'm never getting Chloe Burbank again. That's what, that's, that's what I gotta, I gotta realize. Oh, this song, okay, this song was in In Tongues as well plastic tape really plastic take taste was in it was in in tongues really i don't remember that what about medicine because i like this song wait this might have been under a label no it hasn't okay this is my favorite song from joji even though it's literally just a remix um this is a perfect uh depression song I don't know. They did, they did a good job with the Daughters song. Daughters is, is decent. They they did the one album that I listened to, and it's just basically um, it's basically you going through hell. Let me let me find it. Daughters. Uh, I forgot the name. Daughters. Uh, so, yes. Um, it's just called. It's like a face. It's. I, I forget the name of this album. I think it's just called... It's called, uh, You Won't Get What You Want album. And it has, like, a salt, like, white face. It's, like, creepy as fuck. Uh, this thing. Here it is. This one. They did, uh, this album is what, uh, this song is from. Medicine is from. Um, but yeah, they, they're, like, they changed their sound. Apparently, from what it looks like. But yeah, You Won't Get What You Want. This is just 30 minutes of just hell. Uh, I think, um, what's his name, uh, Fantano, Anthony Fantano, did, like, a review of You Won't Get What You Want, and it's, it's a good one. So, it, it introduced me to that, and I was just like, oh yeah, I've heard the Medicine song, but I didn't know they also did this, and it's just, like, <laughs> it's so, it's so experimental, that it's like, it, you, you definitely can't. Anthony Fantano, more like Anthony Stupid. <laughs> I 
Anthony Fantano, more like Anthony Fanta. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> it's the soda. <laughs> it's the or orange juice soda. <laughs> Anthony Saltano. <laughs> that sucks. Don't say that again. Okay. I won't. I will never say that again. I will never, ever, ever say anything like that ever again. Ever. Never, ever. Smile. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck, yeah, I, I don't know if I want to keep streaming, I, as much as this is fun, talk to somebody else in the past, like, two hours that I've been streaming, uh, it's probably, I don't know, unless you bring up some topics in, like, the pat next, like, one minute, uh, I will, I will end the stream for now, um, One, two, three, four, five, S very cool, one, t no, <laughs> okay, um, I think tomorrow, okay, so, not, since I am working on Wednesday, uh, do I want to stream tomorrow, or do I just want to take the day off and then try to... Hold on, let me switch to this because I, I'm I'm gonna end it here. Actually I'm gonna move this back to this and then do this and then do this. Okay. When I think I'm gonna uh Why is this on here? What the fuck? No <laughs> Turn that off. I forgot I did that. No, I, for I forgot I did that. I Oh, was that the end of my last stream I, I did? Okay. <laughs> it's not... It's not... No, keep it. I can't even, like, my screen acted up, so I can't even edit this or do anything funny with this. What do you want? Raimu. Yamu. Yamu. Whatever the fuck. I'm just gonna say Raimu, even though that's not the proper way to say it in Japanese. Ryamu, there she is. Fucking, I have the normal version of this picture, but I find the version where it's just watermarked with pick mix on it funnier. So I just, <laughs> so I just, I just like it because it, it adds to that like trauma core aesthetic. I guess is a good example of it. I just, I don't know. I just find like that whole like aesthetic funny. And nostalgic at the same time so I just like to play off of it because it's just kind of <laughs> funny I don't know I just find it funny okay I I like it I like it makes me go hee hee so that's why I indulge in that <laughs> I, don't, I don't fucking know but yeah so probably not gonna stream tomorrow um, my schedule is all over the place. I might just kind of do stream whenever I feel like it because it seems like a schedule doesn't matter anymore. But um, I'm probably just going to go back to doing my normal schedule where I do Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Wednesday. I'll, I'll just do it on Wednesday. I'll just stream on Wednesday. Fuck it. I'll do tomorrow on Tuesday. I'll work since I'll have no work. Uh, I'm just going to work on the video. I'm going to work on part two of System Shock 2 Retrospective. Um, I'm going to probably try to do it all in that one day. Uh, do the uh, writing, the record, the voiceover, and then um, the editing all in one day, as well as the captioning, closed captions, like I did in the first one. Closed captions, I'm not going to be a big fan of because the first episode that I did was a pain in the ass. And yeah. And then that's going to be the first video I'm going to do. Maybe I, I might. Oh, yeah, I need to get this stream uploaded, too. So I'm probably going to upload the this stream to the VOD channel, the archive channel. 
and then delete it forever. No. Uh, I'll probably keep it up. Hopefully it doesn't get me banned. Because I said something and that could be taken out of context that could get me banned. So I don't want that to happen. And uh, yeah. So, okay. Um, wait, is this song copyrighted? Okay, good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Wait, was was they don't understand? Wait, hold on. Was love you? Was love you? Uh, copyrighted? No. Okay. Wait. Was was they don't understand? Copyrighted? Okay. No, we're good. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to lose the thing. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna go to. Is this song copyrighted? Uh. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh. Have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, oh god. There you go. Wait, wait. Yeah. Take me out to the back of the shed and shoot me in the back of the head. Take me out to the back of the shed and shoot me in the motherfucking head. I can't edit. I can't edit the picture. I I would. I was gonna like move the picture around. I can't do it. I can't edit the picture. I can't. So, enjoy. I wait. Actually, I might be able to do something. Hold on. Uh. Oh my God. Uh. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do chroma key. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. That's scary. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Bet you never seen a wreck like this. Yeah, but I'm always doing better than your peers and your Oh my fucking god. What the fuck?